All right, let's let's officially start. We got Pat Casey in the room. Unclicked, season something. Ryan Fudger, RBMX. Pat came down from Temecula today, and mm-hmm. that's kind of what we were just talking about. But we can yeah. Well, I came down from Riverside, that. but on my way, I went to Temecula for you, a little bit. You've been working out with Larry Edgar. Yeah, Larry got me into working out a little bit. Kind of just went like one time, and he got me hooked. How's that so, been? It's been good. I feel great. Like let me way see your stronger. abs. <laughs> not there yet <laughs> yeah it's crazy because we've roomed together and we've been friends forever and you know we've talked about like working out and stretching and stuff and you're always like, eh. like you yeah you're always that. bending over on the floor doing something <laughs> yeah i'm always stretching trying to take care of myself but it's like Rolling always been amazing up. to me that you just ride contest after contest and video parts and just get home and you got the kids and you're just constantly riding shredding contests and you never took care of yourself yeah, I mean, I guess I never really thought I had time, you know? So, I mean, you have as much time as you can make. and Well, there's, maybe there's... with the COVID thing, it's opened up a little bit more time for you. Well, too. that's what I, I was going to say. Like, I thought I didn't have time until, like, COVID. Like, it was a break that I wanted but not really asked for, you know? Like, I wanted a break from traveling, like, every other week, but not necessarily on my terms, like, getting hurt or anything. But, yeah, once I had all this time, it was like, fuck, might as well. Larry's like, come work out. So I was like... Dude, I might as well, you know, I yeah. tried once and I was like, oh, it's not as bad as I thought. And then just feels, feels good. We're, yeah. we're, I was always the men, of the mentality that uh, bike riding was my exercise. You yeah, know, I like in too. a lot of ways that like, like, oh, that's, that's kind of like, I don't know. The way like I look at it now is like you do these like small movements like for this amount of time, like you exhaust it throughout the day and it's just going to make your daily life easier. Mm-hmm. Really like riding a bike or any movement that's like pulling up or anything like i thought the same but you're really not getting like the full range or whatever like riding a bike all the time but i don't know yeah you're you were i mean you know more about this way you're always working out your back and not not well like even just to be more prepared for like a fall or anything like to i don't know be able to step out or be able to support yourself instead of like usually i would (laughs) like go to fall and I just plant and drop and roll, you yeah. know, instead of like now I could probably run out of something or whatever, you know, yeah. <laughs> I don't know. You just go bow. <laughs> <Just take it. laughs> well, I mean, I probably still definitely will, but <laughs> yeah. And I mean, like in your defense, what you're saying, I think like riding is a great exercise for someone who works a normal job, but Pat's yeah. job is riding. So he's like constantly yeah. riding. So the working out helps that. But I think, yeah, if you work construction all day and your hobby's riding, like that's probably a really nice balance. It helps yeah. like the abuse that riding gives you, I guess. But also, that being said, you're, I'm not taking as much abuse because I'm like prepared for it now. Yeah. You know? Yeah. I mean, well, that was always meant to like Miro was always like the first BMX athlete. Yeah, I mean, you know, I was like, honestly like a hater on it at first. I was like working out sucks that shit's gay like i, I don't need most to be of us are yeah. as being like action sports kids you're yeah like, you're just out. like it's such like that's like football. yeah but as doing? as you get older and whatever i mean at least for me i've kind of seen that it's like it can only help you know like i worked out when i was like 17 and i was like winning everything and then i stopped and it was like a weird not weird for a minute but you just deal with it and then you can you, you just your stamina everything it's just better i think so yeah, so you've been doing it for like six months, seven months. Yeah. So and it actually is, as you said, it, it it is. You see an actual improvement. Yeah, like almost every session now, it's crazy. Like I almost just get on the ramp and like it's like straight power hour, kind of like I'll get up, like take a, like usually. I mean, if it's me and Jacob or someone riding, like it's like one or two runs in between, and it's just like drop in, go, drop in, like. That's just because cool. it's That's like awesome. I don't know, because I'm not tired. Yeah, you're feeling better. Yeah, I'm not like breathing and working on like, oh my god, I'm dead after like I come up out of the deck. I'm just like, oh, I'm fine. I can go again. Yeah, that's awesome. Have you has it been helping with like the sorenesses and everything from like gnarly sessions? Yeah, I mean honestly, like I don't even get sore anymore. Like I this last like so I didn't ride for like two weeks probably before, and then I rode like two days ago, and like actually my arms and everything kind of felt sore just from because I haven't rode, but. And it's just different muscles like you don't use. But yeah, like falling wise and everything, I don't feel like I nearly get as sore. Like, I don't know. You know how I slam. I Yeah. Every which way. So yeah. like my ass, fucking shoulders, everything. And it's like. Yeah, I'm always amazed I don't... with you just take a fucking slam. Like you take like three <laughs> slams in a session that I'd be like, I'm good. Like I'm going to. No, I feel like day. not as like I didn't really feel that bad before. But now it's like I'm like, fuck, I'm fine. My ankles are like the only, the weakest thing, I think. Just understandable. Yeah, just constant abuse on them. What, uh, 
Oh, go ahead. I was going to say with the, the also the abuse you've always taken and I've seen personally, you've never really had, you're, you, you're really good at falling because you don't, or you're I mean, just really tough. Wood. Yeah, knock on wood, whatever, <laughs> like superstition, but you've never really got too hurt besides a couple like shoulder things and like some pretty small injuries for the fucking, the beast you are. I mean, I guess it's luck, luckily enough, or... Nah, it's not luck. It's I know, but it's like, like, yeah, tough. I guess reactions. It's like comes with reaction time, like such as like you can train yourself like like I'm learning, like learning boxing or whatever. It's like it's all reaction time and like you can react to someone like your brain is, works so fast, you know? Mm -hmm. So I think it's just like even seeing the ground come in and turning or whatever, it's just kind of been a natural instinct for me yeah there's always. people like you who are just like always on their bike and you're constantly i mean but i hit the floor there's people you that do. like yeah, hop body. off and like run out of it like a cat or something or like there's definitely people that never smack fall. the floor or there's people that never fall when they fall they get fucked up you know yeah. i feel like you constantly you're trying new tricks and new whatever gaps in the ramps and you're always jumping off the bike so you're like kind of used to like <laughs> ditching the bike i'm too you know it's yeah like, i don't think it's a bad thing i think it's good to kind of like be constantly yeah, trying shit and throwing the bike away pat's butt has taken some falls Pat has landed on his ass. I've seen him land on his head like three times. <laughs> yeah, in his chair. I've hit my ass so hard. I was hard trying. I was trying. I was trying, I was trying, I was trying to choose my words like like Pat's butt is taking some hits, you know, like <laughs> something like that. <laughs> like, but yeah. but you have. I mean, obviously, you are also very tough. I, yeah, I've, I've, I've considered. I feel like, like I know where you're going with this anyway. What? Because I've hit my ass so hard that I've literally shit myself. I do so. that. That is on my list. So <laughs> I'm hanging out. Was this no. Like a what? No. no, just like okay. giant. All right, something. fuck it. So let's, let's bring it up then. So yeah, you okay. shit well, yourself. You shit you yourself. You shit yourself. I wasn't actually going there at that moment. <laughs> I wasn't. It is on the list. But I wasn't going to open up uh, like six minutes in with that time you shit yourself at X Games. Oh. Yeah. X Games. <laughs> I didn't know this. <laughs> it's happened like probably like three times, just from straight fucking impact to the floor. Like, see, I think, that's insane. So X Games, most times when people shit their pants, they like have to break their tailbone or something. Yeah, like, you are tough. His you tailbone, well, his tailbone's like shattered. Probably. <laughs> probably. <laughs> well, no, I usually like, well, like I was saying, like the instinct, like I turn, like so I'm not going like falling back straight uh -huh. back. Like if I fall back, I'll go like that or whatever, turn to the side, and it's just like straight ass cheek but at the same time like all the pressure of your body hitting the floor like sometimes will just cause some shit to come out so <laughs> so yeah, the other times weren't at x games or were they all x games <laughs> no the there's but like so x games was like i tried it was like best trick i don't know what year it was i think it was it was the year scotty jumped on like the i don't know he jumped on like the car and slipped off and broke his tailbone oh don't you remember when, when, when what city was it in because I, I, I'm Texas. In Texas. in Texas. All right. Yeah. I was honestly looking. I think I, was, I tried won. to. I think he fell in a double. I think flip you and won. Out. That's how Scotty got. That's really how he broke. Up. That's how he broke his back. Remember that? Yeah, it was no, a double flip he, and looped out. He jumped on a car a and car. slipped. It was like a wet car. Yeah. Wasn't that? No, that was Baldock. That was Baldock. It was definitely wasn't. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what I'm saying. I guess. But okay. So best trick. What's the scenario? It was like I. I was fresh at cash rolls i didn't know how to do them mm -hmm. and like i was like all right i'll send it and just kind of under rotated land on my back tire i think it was the first one i tried land on my back tire and just went straight to my ass and it was like oh like i was like stuck there for a minute and then once i got up i was like fuck something's wet but i don't, I don't think it's like sweat you know <laughs> yeah it's like it's like not normal and then like, i went to the bathroom and checked and i was like fuck i need some new underwear so yeah, you, not many people have shit themselves in, the, in front of thousands of people and then yeah. hundreds of thousands of people. I mean, TV. you wouldn't necessarily know it. You <laughs> yeah. know, so when, so. when we uh, do now. <laughs> so did, you, didn't, you, didn't ride, you didn't ride anymore? <laughs> no, that was, that was like the last thing. Yeah. Was oh, done. okay. All right. <laughs> and then the other time was like uh, in Vegas, like probably this last year. I did that 180 double whip and I went, I like did 180 oh, double yeah. whip on the dirt and yeah. I like, slid out and I smacked so it fucking hard, hard on yeah. the ground. Pat's ass is the strongest thing on the planet. It's like the strongest material known to mankind. Like it was like all everything that yeah. was coming down from the jump, like it just slipped out to the like my butt, you know. But this is a story of adversity. He shit himself and pulled it. I shit myself <laughs> and then like I knew it at the same time. And I just went up and did it and then no I went way. to the bathroom. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> well, so I was like, I know. So where was it? Was it like, like, you know, was it like stuck in your boxers? Was it solid? I mean, <laughs> you know, like I'm just trying, trying to get a description. I'm just trying to understand where your head was at. You well, know? like You're that like, the night before, like I partied pretty hard and like I was probably going <laughs> to shit myself anyway. So. <laughs> 
<laughs> so like a hangover it, shit that came out in front of everyone. It was like not, yeah, probably. But I didn't <laughs> like. You can't see it, obviously. Yeah. It's just God, like, damn. oh, I'm just like, fuck. So you <laughs> remember that time we went to Russia and the guy we rode that event. And the guy on the street side, the the hang five to tail whip. Oh, fuck, I'm blanking on his name. I've met him a couple of times, and he shit himself before the event. And then he rode the event, and he I guess it went through his pants or something. So he took his shirt off, and he rode the event shirtless, and just with his shirt around, tied around his waist. That's some so, savage shit. Like, like what? It, like, oh my gosh! Man, BMX yeah. is so gnarly. You were there. I mean, like, I, you I were, know. I was, yeah. I that was a wild that. trip. That was a that was a wild. We yeah. I always carry a smash underwear now. So <laughs> when you do the fakey shit, you do, and you yeah. poop yourself a couple times in contests. You got to be prepared now, dude. Well, I mean, you're not expecting it until it happens, <laughs> and then it's like, wow, I hit the ground really. Like, if you hit the ground hard enough to where like, I would, I it's mean, not I'm, like I'm like, yo, I feel like just taking a shit real quick, you know, like yeah. as I'm. Come around fakey. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's so it's like, yeah. It, yeah. That is, yeah. That's, that's, that went, yeah, that, we jumped right into it. I was not playing. I mean, I have that. So I have you guys, that. You guys are talking about. Literally, that's like, that's like eighth to last on my list, but we can. I'm glad oh, I just, felt like that's where you were going. For it wasn't reason. actually you were but... just like giving me a smirk, like <laughs> fucking. Oh, uh, so eat your butt, huh? <laughs> You, you you beat up Kyle Baldock. <laughs> oh my god! What the fuck did I step into? <laughs> I don't know. You're a badass. I mean, let's talk about I things that. It, all right, hold on. This is things that happen at X Games. Yeah, we moved to X Games. Okay, so I've Kyle never Baldock beat anyone just, up. Okay, I've never used my fists. <laughs> you okay. choked out Kyle Baldock at okay. X Games. Yeah, what happened? Because oh, I remember I didn't. That one wasn't me. That was not me. Yeah, why you gotta do that, dude? Because <laughs> it was innocent, you know. You can change. You don't really beat him up. You guys were part innocent and in what? Like in, me in, doing it, or you mentioning it right now? Well, it was innocent. And you doing <laughs> you it. doing what, it? What really happened wasn't really like it was unexpected, and it was at X Games. I don't know. We were I all saw just you at the like bar slept. drinking, and we were all just like partying, drinking, whatever at the bar. It was like fucking Wednesday night or something. Like not a crazy night. The bar is like closing and. Next thing you know, like where it was like, it was like my buddy Shane and I think Jackson, like buddies from here flew in yeah. and we, we just like showed up and they just showed up and it's like my wife and then some other girls, whatever. And then Kyle, that's it. Like the only people in the, the bar now. And like Kyle just comes up and he was just like, we're just talking, whatever. Like he's already smashed, wasted. And it was just like, oh, I can't like just fucking around like we were in a good ass mood like talking like this and he's like oh i can't i could take you anytime anywhere and i was like fucking went, like ah, like started laughing like literally threw my head back and turned to the side <laughs> and next thing you know i'm getting tackled oh shit yeah. just like in the fucking hotel and i just go like this and then he's like oh i can't i'm gonna get out of this and i was like because i had his like he tackled me and i went like that he's like oh i can't i'm gonna get out of this and i was like no you're not you know, like, what do you mean you're going to get out of this? You fucking just tackled me. Yeah. And I was like this and just wrapped my legs. And then I was just like, all right, tap. And the next thing you know, he's fucking Didn't like, tap. hey, hey, get off of him. I was like, what? And then he's just fucking laying there snoring with his eyes open. I was like, <laughs> oh that, my That's God. what I mean by innocent. Yeah. yeah. Like, I was, I it was I scary. Think, I mean, that is, honestly, yeah, like, I felt like that's I was fun. like, oh, shit, did I just kill someone, you know? Yeah, well, I think Mark prelims were the next morning, and me and you were warming up, and I, you just told me about it, and I'm like, this all happened last night. Yeah, dude. and like, it was, like, so yeah. innocent, like, and I didn't, I really didn't mean anything by it at all. Like, he f honestly flexed on me. Yeah. And then it was, like, kind of funny in a sense, because, yeah. like, I didn't see him the whole next day, and then, like, saw him next day, and he's like, oh, my neck hurts, and I was like... Just fucking with them, like, yeah, you better fucking watch out, you know? Like, <laughs> that's why grown men, that's why grown men, grown men shouldn't, shouldn't even But I mean, play, it's all you know? just, yeah. I mean, Kyle, I mean, Kyle's so competitive that it's just like, I could see, I mean, he probably was joking too, but he's also super serious about winning, you yeah. know, with everything, you know? Like, anyone, oh, your car's fast, gets my car's out faster. They fall asleep without passing out, it's gnarly. You yeah. Know? Like, to Dude, take yeah. it, just like, fuck it, I'm gonna, I'd rather yeah. pass out than t tap yeah, out. Yeah. It's like, and like, I don't know. I just grew up like kind of messing around with my friends, whatever. So like, I knew actually how to do a headlock. So like, if <laughs> yeah. just like someone like, Ugh, it's a big difference. And like, yeah, you're fucked. You're done. Yeah. Sounds like you were right to laugh when he said he could take you out. <laughs> <laughs> no, but I'm just like, we're all drunk. Like the same time, like even if we all knew what we're doing, if we're That's drunk, like technique, everything just goes out the fucking yeah. window. It's like if we were like, it's like Ugh, whatever. 
throwing yeah. haymakers, you know? It's not yeah. like, all right, whatever. Yeah. You guys weren't really fighting. No. Yeah. No. no, I was just like reacting, honestly. And it was like, okay, this is where it's going. Like, you're trying to actually flex on me? All right, let's go. And I was like, oh, shit, you're sleeping. So... <laughs> <laughs> Oops. What what's your you know, when you think of when I think of park riders these days, I generally think of like you know, Logan, Nick Bruce, like the Daniel, uh, you know, those those style dudes, they're definitely not staying out until 1 a.m. before practice wrestling. You know, drunkenly wrestling. Like what like what's your mentality you with like how Baldock? What's that? You don't think Kyle well, clearly that? not anymore. <laughs> But you know what I mean? Like, like you're, what's your mentality with those events? Are you like, you know, you obviously are not, you're there to have a good time as well as do well in the event. Is there a balance? Is there like, I mean, of course, like mainly X games, like, I mean, when there was events, but mainly like X games and all that, I mean, I would try to be more serious than like, not necessarily (laughs) more serious, but like. If you have a contest every weekend, then you want to at least enjoy what you're doing, you yeah. know? So, and if it's, I'm in some crazy place, like, Minneapolis, I don't know, France or <laughs> no, yeah, Minneapolis, whatever, but like France or Australia or yeah. somewhere, then yeah, you want to go party and hang out and check it out and see what's, what the lifestyle is really like. Yeah. So I try to at least do that for most of them, but I would say X games and that I try to take a little more serious. But yeah. But it's not like. But at the same time, if like my wife is there and whatever, then it's like, hey, it's fucking once a year at X Games. Yeah, let's party, have a good time. Vacation. Oh, yeah. Same time as. I'll ride and do my job when I need to. Yeah, and you always handle it like a boss. Like, I I swear that night you said you slept like a few hours, you know, like you were looking rough and probably qualified in like first or second place. Like, just you're pretty good at riding with a little bit of sleep. I mean, honestly, sometimes it helps me more because like you'd be more like. I don't know if you care about something so much, like it makes you nervous, mm-hmm. kind of, you know. So if you Takes go into edge off like fuck it, like I'm just gonna do what I do, and or you know what I mean. It's just like helps a lot more than being like this is important to me. Yeah, that thing. makes sense. What was it like riding an event two weeks ago? Oh yeah, you uh, just went down to Brazil and then. Oh yeah, fuck! Texas. I forgot about Brazil. Yeah, Brazil was cool. It was pretty normal, besides like. I mean, there's no crowd or anything. So they but... ran. They ran it legit. I guess that's the first. That's the first yeah. question. Is they no? There was no public. It was. It was a private event. Yeah, full private everything. Same. I mean, same with Toyotas. Yeah, mm. but it's, it's not weird. Toyota anymore. Whatever. Triple challenge. Oh, yeah. Triple challenge. Monster Energy Triple Sorry. Challenge. Sorry, Monster. It's all good. <laughs> um, so how did the Brazil thing come about? Like, what was in... I mean, I just... I'm curious about international travel right now, like, in going in and coming back. What do you mean? How did it come it, about? Because Brazil like, was on some list, like, last week or something that, like, you couldn't come back from Brazil. But you snuck uh, in... Yeah, I mean, you know, you snuck in before that announcement, I think. I don't know. Everyone's telling me what you can and can't do, so... <laughs> that is... I'll just go. <laughs> I don't yeah. know. It was like they... They invited me, and I was like, okay, I can go. And it was, you had to have a negative COVID test within 72 hours. Mm-hmm. So I had to go get tested. And then, yeah, I just, like, fill out some declaration thing. But what was crazy for that trip was L.A. was the, the one that was, like – so I went from Brazil straight to Texas, but I was going to go home. Like, I had my flights lined up to go home for four days before I go back to, to Texas. But I had a layover straight through Dallas. And I hit up Cody Hennings and he just was like, yeah, just stay here because in LA they're making you stay for 10 days after you travel anywhere. So like they stay where internationally, but they make you sign like some form basically saying that you're not going to travel within 10 days, like stay at your house, whatever. Yeah. Yeah. Like um, self quarantine. Yeah. Self quarantine or whatever. So I was like kind of nervous about that. So I just stayed in Texas for then until the event. Yeah. But it was pretty cool. That's cool. Was it, uh, did you guys do anything in Brazil? Was it, it was a whole, is the country pretty shut down or is it? Uh, like... yeah, it was pretty shut down. I mean, we didn't, we didn't go out or anything. Yeah. Like it was like, if you went out, you had to go to like, went to like a skate park at night, drink some beers. And then, uh, Kyo, he like showed us around, like drove us around a bunch and stuff. It was yeah, pretty that cool. Dude's cool. Yeah. yeah. There's only really been two events in BMX that have been at a larger scale like that. And you did them back to back. Yeah. 
I mean, that's the only thing there was. Yeah. So no, it's just pretty interesting though, because like you're the it's cool. That was dirt events too. I mean, usually yeah. I feel like it'd be all park everything, uh -huh. you know, if they're going to even do anything. So I don't know. It'd be cool. to have more dirt events. It's the nineties again. Yeah. Dirt's back. You got to do it yourself. <laughs> it's cool. <laughs> yeah. I mean, yeah. that's what I was kind of thinking too. Like even after like this whole video thing, that's kind of what I was waiting for so that maybe we could do like some sort of contest or whatever, put like the control back into the rider's hands and like, not really back into the rider's hands, but like if we all had some jams that were given out, giving out money and whatever, and then it holds like other contests accountable, like, yo, mm -hmm. you're getting fucking, if everyone's getting a thousand bucks at Dennis's house for a contest or whatever, then it's like, why shouldn't you at simple session or whatever, oh, yeah. you yeah. know? So there's nothing. Yeah. I mean, well, that's a, that's a problem with like, you know, companies like, Mon well, I know like vans in particular, like, so, even from uh from van's point of view they didn't want to promote anything that happened in houston or probably with brazil as well because they just don't want to promote any travel or anything with covid and they just don't want to be outwardly irresponsible you know and oh, so they just don't they don't just not like me <laughs> <laughs> yeah no they, they like you but it's it's definitely one of those things where they're just like you yeah know, we I offered understand. them photos from houston and they're like oh no we're not you know yeah just no, away Colin, from Colin stuff told like me that. as yeah, well so, I, I mean i understand so, especially in so they're not big brands aren't going to step up influencing like that. they yeah. just can't there's just too much liability right now for yeah. things and they're you know it's it makes sense you know, so it is like you said time for if we want to do stuff we got to do it on our own yeah you know and that's there's plenty of yard it's setups like take and your own risk own your yeah own, whatever so you brought up dream yard four so we have to definitely talk about that you you are finished it is out yeah we're yeah. done <laughs> you killed it in that yeah thank you i think i've already told you through instagram comments but real life you really fucking killed yeah. it in that thank dude. you insane so it's cool fun. to see the ramp for the first time because i hadn't yeah, I've seen been it. trying to get you out there for fucking i know months. i'll come i'll come i was just <laughs> letting a, you do that's your a, thing that's another idea <laughs> you know, that we should that yeah. we should actually make happen is the, the ramp swap thing but who knows yeah but, um so that that one's a long time coming obviously and that one's actually was made possible by covid right yeah, that was Roger, a, by COVID -19. yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that was a crazy, GPA. crazy uh, how that all came about. I kind of just like told Monster that I was like, hey, I have this idea for like a ramp add on. I had two drawings made up like half and then a full. Mm -hmm. And I was like, not expecting anything out of it because I mean, look at how the yard is already. I'm yeah. not, I was like, whatever. But it's a long shot. And then <clears throat> all of a sudden the world shut down. And COVID happened and the monster was like, hey, we have nothing to sponsor, like contests or anything. Like, what was that idea you had? All right. Hey, let's do it now. Crazy. I was like, really? And usually before it would be like, I would have the idea. They're like, yeah, do it. And it's like, I'll have to pay for it all and do it all myself and then get reimbursed. And then this time they were like, yeah, we got it. They just took like full control and just did it all like the whole ramp and everything so so who who crazy. came up with the that's design amazing. yeah that's yeah amazing. like that was like i've never had anything like that before and, and that they was help like you with the so ramps and dirt jumps and stuff? they've helped but i mean like this one was I, like, like i said on. like i paid for it before and mm. then had to give them a finished product of a video mm. that they were happy with and this this one was like hey you want to make a video okay here's like all the they were like we need something need. We, we yeah got, we got money and yeah like right i mean we were we were meant to do like so like once the build started and everything, then all of a sudden ESPN, everyone like, it was like, we we're going to do like X games at the house, like in the mid, like in August, like when yeah. it was meant to happen. And then all of a sudden, like whatever due to COVID restrictions, whatever, yeah, it started flaring up again. Yeah. But yeah. it was like, holy shit. Like really? But this whole thing, the whole process was just insane. Just, but it took longer than what I thought it was going to take for the build, but yeah, that original you know, that missing. original Dream Yard X Games timeline, I was like, "Fuck, that is a yeah." It was like timeline. two weeks. It yeah, like, it was like no two. Way. He had to film Dream Yard Four basically in two weeks or less, maybe like yeah. twelve days or ten. I mean, days. I did like the like after the ramps build, get used to it and film in two weeks. Yeah, yeah awesome. but it was like still finishing to touches to and everything, yeah. like painting, like yeah. But I mean, it could have forced <laughs> you to just like be like, but I don't. <clears throat> yeah, no, it worked out better. I was I was happy with how it worked out. Um. Well, I did want to talk talk about the X Games thing, but the before that, like, so who whose idea was it to to or like whose design is it for the ramp, like for the add on and all that? Like, who'd you who'd you hit up for that, and and what's that process like? Uh, well, it was like my design, I there, guess. There's a cat on the table now. <laughs> 
It's my design. The whole ramp was my design okay. in general. And then it's just kind of added on since, you know, mm -hmm. but I hit up, uh, so the dude that did in dream yard two or yeah, or maybe three, it was like the whole, the new add on to the, like the vert wall and like enclosing the ramp. Yeah. He's from Canada. His name's Jordan. And I asked him to like, he came out and did the whole, that whole add on by himself with Steven Moxley. And he has like a whole drawing thing and like based on like the scale and dimensions and everything. Like, I think it's like the ramp sketch up or something or yeah. whatever. And he sketched the whole thing up and then it was like super rough. And then Aaron and them kind of just went off that, which I mean, it was super rough. So yeah. kind of, kinda... yeah, some, some artistic interpretations. At points yeah. I mean, sure. not that it was super rough, but based on like measurements and stuff and <laughs> actually what was there, mm -hmm. it was like, he did it all off of like a satellite, you know? Oh, pretty really? Much. Wow. Okay. Wow. Like he made the whole original thing off like a satellite. So you can't really tell like for real dimensions. And then Aaron showed up, but like did it off that drawing and it's like came up a little short, but it's okay. Yeah. Eh, it happens. What a. Not a little short, but like meaning like how much like it actually was, you know, like there was more ramp than what was planned. Seems like it's oh, like really? damn near as much wood as the original ramp. Yeah. Like, it's, yeah. I mean, it's, because it's like, it's like I, I didn't know you added on that much. Like you, <laughs> you guys had told me some people who'd been there and you and I'm like, oh, it sounds really cool. And I seen, I was like. It's like a whole other ramp that wraps around the ramp. Yeah. It's insane. Pretty dude. much. Yeah. So like the idea was like kind of wanted just something that like linked around like that we have the trails, but it's always so windy and like, yeah, just trails are so much maintenance all the time. It's like three hours, to, not three hours. If I'm alone, it's like about three hours to get that shit ready to ride, <laughs> yeah. you know? And it's kind of always this, it, they're really fun, but it's kind of weird when like you either have to train to like be riding with each other or it's like one guy goes. Yeah. You, you're just, cause, Cause his house kind of blocks yeah. him. So it's like, yeah. it's cool. Well, it's that, almost that, feels that like you're riding by yourself. That all changed now too. So like you start from the ramp to hit the trails now too. That's so cool. you're always like hanging yeah. with each other. Yeah. Yeah. But I don't know. I kind of want just more trails than like big ramp it, feel. It's cool. Yeah. Are you happy with everything? Yeah. Yeah. Super happy with everything. So you got a ramp and then like the ramps the new stuff's almost like this new generation of like bmx slope style like i feel like there's no like there's nothing really like what your ramp is it's kind of like a hybrid of trails and and uh and ramp like mixed together in one <clears throat> yeah i guess like even the whole like the original one <clears throat> you'd say is like a little bigger than normal ramps yeah you know so like i kind of just foot. like took the idea of other contests and fun things that i've ridden that i enjoy riding and then just tried to make a ramp out of it you know That's like sick. <clears throat> there's like i don't know even like the there's like red, that red bull contest like i just rode with like the huge ramps yeah that drew invited me to and that was like those ramps are like insanely big that you're never gonna They're ride insane. anything like that yeah. you know so i wanted like something that kind of feels like in between not necessarily that but more ramp style instead of like mega ramp or whatever yeah. but yeah, I don't know. I'm pretty happy with it. Something that you carry speed with. You yeah. Know? Bigger ramps. More realistic to ride. Like every normal day, ramps, just huge. on a big scale. Yeah, that's what it looks so. like. I can't wait to come ride them. They look dope. Yeah, it's fun. Uh, I know you're happy with your riding because you did like some of the sickest shit ever in Dream Yard 4. Like just like all your <laughs> other Dream Yards, you definitely stepped it up and like did what you moved a, you moved the bar again to another Dream Yard. But are you happy with like the whole video and everything? Uh, yeah, I, I would say I'm happy with the whole video. Uh riding and everything i was pretty happy with it was hard to like come up with a a last banger i guess like you sure i did. had yeah but i like had like ideas and that were just like i was playing with that were not working at all like what like i wanted i don't know i was if you like want to say i'm you're trying to like hold on to him yeah no like i wanted to like half cap flare the spine that ah. but it's like every time i would like 180 down like so i had like an airbag and everything and like i would set it up and every time I would like go to pop, it would just like send me forward. So I barely, <laughs> I would like half cab over and just go like that. But I'd be like right on the edge of the spine. And it was like, I don't know. It's just a lot of different things. And like, yeah. there was like a big gap that I'll probably take the handrails down so you can do it. But... <laughs> <laughs> I was torturing him with that one. I yeah, he, they it just up kept the him and Gary. Gary came one time yeah. and he's just like, yeah, I know you could do it. Like, I know it's possible from here. And I'm just like. Uh, you fucker like this is like it's yeah. like death defying like if you not it is it is yeah. if you jump it and you don't make it you're falling 30 feet into a small gap what yeah. about didn't you do the 720 <laughs> open loop the cork 7 open loop and then the mountain biker what's his name 
a uh, sick mountain biker who put another video out recently and it, and he had his banger doing the same thing. Yeah. Yeah. It's and Matt like McDuff. He, yeah. Matt he McDuff, did, yeah. uh, yeah, you did like flip, yeah, the right. three flip and yeah. the open loop, and then I was. And it was going to be your banger, and then you're like, shit. It wasn't going to be my no? banger. Okay. Well, so, like, he did. He I was like, had I done. had like yeah. the whole edit done, and then there was like, I still was like, damn, I need one banger. Okay. You know? so, so this was like. Yeah. It had nothing. To, it had nothing spot. to do with that. Yeah, because even somebody texted me that, and then then I would just send them the photo, and I was like, no, it's not that. You know, like, yeah. like, like so. Um, but yeah, it, it was it was just hard. You know, like I would, I would, I would. I, I mean, especially send, I, even I'd based like, on the setup that it was, like, yeah, like, I don't know. Even the Spox, let's just say the Spox, it's seven feet on one side, like the takeoff is seven feet, which and is the landing huge. is nine. That's big. So it's huge. Yeah. And then it has like a two or three foot drop, like has two or three foot drop on the right, and then like a six foot drop on the left. Yeah. And then it goes like the other ramp is right there. It's like the 12 foot rolling, you know? Yeah, like it's like that big hip. Uh-huh. So like there was like a uh, truck to double whip. I was like battling oh, with God. that for yeah, like that was rough. ever. Like I don't know why I can do a truck to double whip. Yeah, but it was just like I would under rotate and just get slammed. Or if like I would rotate land good, I would just shoot off like the side of the ramp and like there's, like all these wow. beams and like whatever there. So it was just like I had to dodge it and it was just so sketchy. Yeah. But, that's like the base... kind of shit people don't see is like the flat bottom is. Yeah, and like scary. I don't know. You'll see when you ride it. Like yeah. it's not. It's not that the ramps are intimidating, but like as you ride them, I don't know. It's like you see the consequence still on mm-hmm. the sides because like your the whole ramp is like on a pedestal. So if you fall off the side, you could be falling off six feet or whatever. And the ramp's already seven feet, like to nine feet to twelve feet to like whatever. It's fucking huge. Yeah. So you're going fast and high, and like you could not only fall off those big high ramps, but also fall off the edge of the ramp too you know yeah. so you have to be i, was, I wasn't on planning point. on showing this but this is the, the, the i'm pretty i'm pretty sure this see. is the tr- this is the truck to double whip right here cool some... so i mean i i was going to go through the behind the scenes stuff but it's since he just brought it up oh so fucking hey. yeah it was not that, that was that landing. was the first fall too right yeah that was so, so you're that trying was this like, trick that's already the, gnarly that but... one like knocked me out <laughs> oh my god <laughs> yeah so, I mean, obviously, like you got a brick wall the the truck the truck to the truck to double whip is like what he won <laughs> the the Dreamline with, you know, like it's a trick that he can do. So it's not about the trick; it's about the spot, you know, like yeah. like that yeah, that was the reality. Trick yeah, I could have done it on the step up or whatever. Yeah. It was just like I you thought on the spine. So, um, but did, yeah, so uh, but that was that was that fall. Just real quick, like it was a it was a rough fall, and that was one of them. There was a whole other day, I think. It looks like you so like i think there needs to be some like raw like b-side style edit from this. yeah I, ha- I have it I'm, I'm working on it no offense to anybody because i know that's how that dude films it or that's that's how, how the dude who made your edit edits but for like a huge yeah this, BMX is, this fan, is the other one but i was shooting from the back but i had the 360 angle a lot of shit's hard to tell what's going oh, on dude you should editing. just put it in it looks like i landed it right boom <laughs> no no way <laughs> <laughs> you can tell i'm done yeah you know what i'm so. saying or am i am i kind of coming no no, no i, no, I, no, I no. agree yeah and like because i watch the edit and i'm like fuck like this is and that's tr- what like, i was so like tricky. it's almost like oh yeah i can like I've, tell what's going on like i wanted that in a sense but at the same time i didn't want to take away from what i was doing which yeah. i don't mean to even say that i feel it did a little bit but oh it totally did yeah but it's like whatever whatever it's, yeah that's how he yeah. does it you know you you pick that guy and he's good at what he does well, that, yeah i like i like the yeah. effects and everything i can say that like maybe it, another shot to justify the effects or something you know but or maybe a nice behind the scenes of like yeah, raw, a exactly. rock cut would be like really nice to have with that so you could be yeah. like okay like here's yeah. like just a straight riding and this i mean is for for the, the ramp edition. in general you know you know that's how it is anyway. Like you see it on video, it's like okay, cool, and then you actually get there and you look at how it yeah. is in person, and you're like, holy shit! Yeah, it's that's never what done. you know. Like every single person who's came to my ramp is always like, whoa! Like I thought these were like way more chill from the videos we've seen. You know, just cause, yeah, because with even with your ramp, everything's so big, it all compares to each other. Yeah, so it just exactly. looks like oh, that's just like a normal ramp. But you get yeah, like, like that's like, just a shit. hip, but you wouldn't. That's like the biggest quarter in the how, yard. How tall is that quarter? Twelve feet. Twelve foot hip. <laughs> like 12 you know, foot, 12 foot and like, that's into a 12 foot landing for people yeah. who've seen that you know which is insane kind of consider what a 12 foot lip is and that's like you're flipping that and 
Yeah, and that was like hit. really the that, hard, I mean, hard part. That's honestly, the, since you brought up that flip, like that flip is fucking crazy. Yeah. And is I don't know. It, it is, but it's it. that's one of the clips where it just doesn't. He, he spun it in a 360 oh, camera okay. and it just doesn't really. Because I've seen the photo of it. And I was like, yeah, Holy but shit. like even the photo, I mean, even the photo doesn't do it justice. Like there's nothing that's going to do that justice. But when like the clip, big, the clip, it you just gotta be doesn't. In real life sometimes. Yeah, it's just not. Yeah, that's a... But and that's that's the thing, though, is like, I mean, I, I. I bit my tongue in certain aspects and all respect to Casey for what he does because he he's amazing content creator he, his visual eye and the and the way he can uh just push it together is is absolutely insane like on level like 10 and I'm a fucking one yeah and like, you know in that so aspect, like, even like the ramp being built and the monster can oh my God, and like insane, it's insane that opening you know, the, the opening CGI clip like where it's just like building that the ramp really and stuff good, it's, it's insane just fall in. yeah, yeah it's insane yeah and I, I like working with him because it's like it's i mean almost the same way i like working with you it's stress-free it's like yeah just you do you dude we're here to support you yeah. film it like we got you you know and like that's like i mean i guess that's how any filmer should be but yeah. at the same time it's like when you're you just have people you're comfortable around filming it's like that's that uh it's important in like the climate i guess that you're trying to do something that's like fuck this is really taking a toll on me sure. or whatever well i think that like the the idea was that who Casey was making the video for, he wasn't making it for me, you know, like, so like, and that's he, it. The idea is like, he's making it for monsters. He's making it for know? monsters. Yeah, he's making it for a general necessarily audience. An, yeah. That's yeah. exactly what I was yeah. going to say. So like, it's not like an audience that was a general audience. It has, or I guess it is more of a general audience. Yeah. That's not BMXers. That's exactly like as a huge it's, BMX fan, like me, I'm like, man, I wish this was more just riding, but then you do step back and think like, this could be put up on like a, a Super Bowl commercial, like monsters sponsoring mm -hmm. everyone's gonna be like, "Whoa, you know." Right I mean, now. even that first drone clip, like the drone clip, like promo thing, like that shit went. I mean, that did super well on our Instagram. I assume it did everywhere. Where it went, it did well everywhere it went, and I'm sure it got reposted everywhere. But like stuff like yeah. that is like that's not a BMX clip, but that that everybody can see that and go, "Whoa, that is a crazy setup." Yeah, I that guess I was just lot, hoping you know, like so. my riding obviously would speak for itself, and then whatever from there kind yeah. of thing. So yeah, it did. But, I think yeah. it did. I think people still appreciate it. You know, so I, I wouldn't I wouldn't discount that at all. But I think it's a hard balance. You yeah, know? exactly. Like it, it's it's like balance. introducing something that's not BMX to yeah. BMX. You know, mm -hmm. kind of. So mm -hmm. yeah. um, probably feels good to be able to ride there and not have to hide your ramp like you've been doing for yeah. like six months or whatever. Yeah, like you've been like. I've noticed that you have. I mean, I'm not trying to blow it out though either. Yeah, at the same yeah, sure. time, but yeah, I saw the I saw I just, the I saw the influx of clips start to fire out a little bit. Yeah, I like, guess I got to be careful. Yeah. No, not from you, from other people, from huh? like other people. Yeah, I know. Yeah. That's what I was saying. I guess I got to be careful saying like, yeah, no problem. Everyone can film, so it's gonna be like, nope, sorry, nobody can film anymore. Yeah. Well, that Dennis had Unless that. Unless I approve. Yeah, I mean that's real. <laughs> Dennis had that at that. He's like, "Oh, leave your phone." Like, yeah, don't film anything. You know, like. Yeah, like, I mean, it just like, kind of blows it. Not blows it out, but it's like, cool. What if I fucking want to do that or whatever? You know, like. Yeah. I had that rule just because we hadn't put the edit out yet, and I was like, I want the edit to come. Well, that's out. what like, I'm saying. Boom, yeah. new ramp. You know, because he was letting people film, but then they just couldn't post anything. So now that the edit's out, like, uh, there's just been this influx of all this stuff, like going down on the step up and stuff like that, and it's like. It's like your idea too was like, hey, if you want to come over and ride and have a good time, awesome. Yeah. But don't come over here for uh, to gather content for Instagram. It's just so, you know? yeah, like, it's just so like, hard because there's so many differences in that. You know, it's yeah. like, cause not to say that anybody, you know, like not that they're doing something mischievous, but it's just it's like just you so want to have a different. It's a weird thing because like when yeah. Pat comes to my ramps, you know, he's gonna try and flip the hip. I'm like, fucking film that, you know. Yeah. But then there's some people who come over and they don't even get used to the ramp and they just start filming and getting stressed. I'm like, ah, oh, like I wish you could just enjoy the ramp. Yeah. So it's this weird balance. Instead of like, it's like yeah, it's, it's working for different. a clip or something. Yeah, and like, it's like yeah. they're trying to get a clip that it's like, dude, people who ride this <laughs> ramp all the time have already done that. Like, just don't don't stress. Come back and film something you're hyped on. Yeah. You know, it's just, but it's hard to say who's hyped on what. I don't know. So, so eventually, I was just like, film whatever the fuck you want. Exactly. <laughs> you know, just yeah. don't have the filmer standing on the box so we can't all ride. So one thing I wanted to d discuss was Dreamyard Three. So the, the nighttime one that Vish worked on, that Vish cut together, and then I, I helped film uh, the the original edit. So uh -huh. the the edit that nobody got Do to see. Do you have that? I something? have that. Ooh, let's watch oh, that. That's, that, that was why I got the TV out. So today. why is this so, the original edit, and then there was another? Well, so, I had like a, a – I mean, obviously, like that one, if you saw, it had like a little mini ramp yeah. and everything. It had a concept to it. It wasn't like 
I enjoy playing with fucking finger bikes. <laughs> you know? <laughs> yeah, so, uh, right. that's, I, didn't, I didn't watch the other edit. Uh, let me plug in the mic. Maybe put your headphones in on this one just so you can... Uh, Off topic, it's so fun to watch all the Dream Yards because from Dream Yard 1, you just oh, have like, so a crazy. small backyard. Yeah. It looks like it's just basically in the desert. You like have a gyro, yeah. like a different style. And then Dream Yard 2, 3, and 4, it's like the yard just going like that and your riding is like... It's it's because they're years apart. It's super cool. Yeah. They're like little time capsules of, yeah, so of your house and your riding. The original... The uh, next should, one, Reed's going to have clips in. Should you we... Know? You don't, you don't <laughs> yeah. like to hear yourself. I hate you? it. Yeah. <laughs> That's the one it thing It like about- distracts me even like hearing what you guys are saying through the headphones yeah Yeah. what i'm gonna say i'm like i'm thinking about what i'm saying you know the idea of like hearing your own voice and it sounds super weird yeah like interviews like supercross or something where you hear the echo yeah like right after oh yeah like i forget what i'm saying because listening to you back in your own head what the hell i sound like this like what (laughs) you know it's just like weird because um the so the the I, i guess let's lay out the concept first so the original concept involved reed and then he mm. goes and he, you know, he gets to see you ride bikes and then he goes and he goes to sleep and he, and he, and is playing with this toy ramp that he had that you guys had made. And then he goes to sleep. Yeah. And more then, of like, and it's a dream ride, sequence. And it's like, yeah, a dream. So that's like with the blur scenes and everything. And where... is the, is the edit the same outside of that? Pretty much. I don't, I'm, it's been so long since I've seen it. I didn't, I didn't check. I so the, the issue was that uh monster kind of has like a no kid policy. Uh, where they it's just like don't. under 13 yeah so makes under, sense so it's the same for i mean i'm sure red bull and rockstar have a similar <laughs> thing so it, yeah. there's just kind of like a no exception no kids r- type rule even though it was reed's or pat's pat's kid couldn't put the edit out and there it should yeah. be a certain age where you shouldn't be able to promote to because you do want to be able to think for yourself yeah how but much like caffeine you'll, intake you're you'll taking. watch you'll watch the video there's nothing, yeah but it's, it's like at the same time yeah it's like okay you right. know it's, it's like, just reed's in it so all right, let's see it then. but Okay, so they didn't want Reed in it. Oh my God, so loud! You get to put on your headphones now, Pat. Look at him. See this? He's just Dude, yeah, baby. he's so tiny. What, yeah, ha- what happened to the goats? I forgot. <laughs> <laughs> we gave him to a good home. That's fucking crazy. Yeah. Vish did a good job with this. Yeah. Yeah. Didn't Vish make all the music? Yeah. Missed the berm. <laughs> <laughs> crazy he's so small i oh, know dude i like this one this is that was cool so the other one you're just playing with the finger bike right <laughs> right no it's just, <laughs> it's just the ramp yeah it kind of just, just it kind of just shows the ramp it just kind of like jumps into it like oh like this is a tiny version of it you know like it doesn't really makes sense yeah this but. is like way more intense this one's i like this one way better honestly i like that whole intro i mean we, obviously we all did yeah obviously <laughs> yeah. you just couldn't use it this is the original yeah, it was a struggle damn just put this out on a random youtube i mean we talked about it but it, it i mean it's a monster video so i, I mean know. this is, is it, this is, is the this same? is i i can't remember i don't remember either I, feel all, like I haven't seen some of these clips. All I remember is that this 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 was the first edit that it, it had to be 4K, and at the time, even though this was only like two or three years ago, like filming 4K slow mo stuff was was very difficult, and it had to be at night. So both Vish and I were struggling <laughs> to find the balance. That's all I think of when I see this. But I, you know, like we did. I feel you like know, the other one's like, bah, bah, bah. it's like really fast. And hard yeah. To I like this one. Cause it's well, like, it's, that's what I mean. Is like, I was, Vish and I are, are BMXers. So like, we kind of filmed it like BMXers. Yeah. So, you I mean, v, all credit to Vish because Vish cut all this shit together. I had nothing to do with this. I just was, I was just getting like all the blood on the side. Yeah, I know. Wow. I still need to do Nightmare Yard. Like that, the, <laughs> the normal Dream Yard 3 is like, there's so many like cuts and it's just so quick. Yeah. But I guess that's when you're make, working for a brand trying to get out to the at non-BMX you got to do stuff like that. Yeah, wow. I didn't realize this one was as good as it is. It's really good. It's a lot longer, too, I think. This one was, like, filmed in, like, five nights. Yeah. It was fucking brutal. That's for you. fucked up. Ooh. God.
people people <laughs> that watch the podcast get to watch this too. Yeah, yeah. That's sick. I think I'm screen recording, but either way, I'll splice it in. So, <laughs> so yeah. Baby Reed. It is kind of weird how it's like a baby though than the monster logo. Yeah. <laughs> that could, I mean, that could go away. That could go away. Yeah, that was that so. Away. I love that though. Damn. Yeah. So that was. You know, I just felt like. I felt like you hadn't seen that in years. Nobody else has obviously yeah, seen, that. seen that. So that was it was time. like. I haven't it, seen it, that probably since it was meant to come out and yeah. then it got changed. Yeah. So shout out to. Shout out to I literally hit Beach up last night and I was like, you ha- you have that? And he just. He had like. It was yeah, still I, on Vimeo. I really like that. Yeah, Beach. So, um, Sick. Yeah, I mean, it, it's it's cool. Obviously, put, it's put cool to out, see that. Dream Yard Five, right? <laughs> be like Dream Yard Five, yeah, right away. Uh, <laughs> be like, damn. The evolution of the yard is obviously amazing. You know, yeah. like I'm sure if that came out as Dream Yard Five and no one ever, you know, so let's say Dream Yard Three was never seen, people would be like, "Fuck, this oh, it's is still so amazing. good." Yeah, you it's know, still like, the amazing. riding is yeah. still like, yeah, that's Dream Yard Five. If you want it to be, <laughs> 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 how far ahead of the game you are. Um. Let's talk about Reed. Well, well uh, hold on. Let's actually before we is there going to be a Dream Yard Five? Like if you were to do if you were to do anything else, I to mean, your I yard, honestly wasn't even playing do? on the four, but I guess yeah. Let's let's stay on Dream Yard Four. So, so your neighbors, because when I was driving the first time I drove into your house for some reason I was coming from uh, east to west, and I usually come the opposite direction, and I didn't know I was even near your house. And I was like, what the fuck is, oh, that's Pat's ramp. Like it's, you can see it from the road now and it's like <laughs> massive. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, that's, it's there. <laughs> I mean, you could see it before, I'm sure. But now it's like some like beacon of like just yeah, grabs it's, your it's eye. It's huge now. Yeah. Live out in Riverside though. You get those big lots of land. It's like, fuck, what, it's your land. Do whatever you want. I mean, it's not like Riverside's out there. Not yeah. anymore, but it's, he's got four Starbucks this on the is way, way to his house. Like where we are right now is way the fuck out here for me. <laughs> yeah. Okay. But I'm just we're in Mexico right now. <laughs> we're, we're deep. Everybody, <laughs> everybody that lives north, yeah. always says that. Yeah. He got out of his car and he was like, "Holy shit, you live far!" And you're like, "I'm so sorry, I made you drive to my house." So many <laughs> times. Yeah. But what I'm saying is, everybody out there has land and fucking you know like big swimming pools and stuff. It's yeah. not like here where it's like it's, it's more built, spread out. You built a ramp; it has to go like fence line to fence line and like go into the neighbor's backyard. I mean, backyard. we're fence line to fence line. Yeah. yeah, yeah. You know? <laughs> You are right. now, huh? Is it so? Uh, your, na- your neighbors are ob- <laughs> your neighbors are obviously all fine with it. Yeah, they're all actually really cool. That's no. So like, I mean, we even before the ramp was like fully done, we even had like I went around to all of them, had like a conversation, like because for that what was about to happen. Yeah, and I don't know. They're all really cool about it. They're like, yeah, sweet ramps. Like we're happy. You guys are happy. Like enjoying doing like living outside. Whatever. They're like down with it that's cool it's fine yeah that's awesome so did they did they ever when the x games thing was about to happen did they well yeah that's what i was saying like i went i went over to them to be like hey x games is going to be happening just to let you guys know like you guys are all invited in my backyard yeah Yeah, (laughs) just let you know it's going to be kind of in your backyard too but yeah just let them know and they're all like wow it's really cool so So you've never had any problems i mean there's been like a little bit but i don't know if it was a neighbor or what you oh, know okay. so like we got somehow the county came and like i had to get permits for like the whole beginning air, like section of it and i didn't know who who it was like if it was a neighbor or something i could have sworn it was this neighbor because right before he came out like on a rainy day when it was like the water was rushing through and he's like hey this water is coming through my yard and i was like okay i have a tractor right here like i'll dig a trench and we'll fix it kind of yeah. thing and then a few days later like fucking thing on my door shows up that says like you're getting fined this much if you don't take it down Uh. in a certain amount of time or get the permits so i was like not taking it down so i went through the whole permit process and then how and then i thought it was this guy and then once i went over there to do like the whole uh tell him about x games and everything he was like super nice and super cool and i have no idea who it could have been Hmm. Hmm. What was the pro- was the process for the permit difficult slash expensive? Uh, yeah, it was pretty difficult and expensive. It was yeah. like I had to go like all the time. I had to like get an architect to draw everything, mm-hmm. like to exact fucking dimensions and T and all that stuff and like whatever. Pretty much went through the, with the whole process. It costs like I don't know, probably like 
six or seven grand just yeah, to do all that shit. That's like, not nothing. That's to a lot. up yeah. or for the like, to, for the process. The whole thing. Yeah. yeah. Crazy. Yeah, that's some money. What uh, if you? But at w- least it's legal. But it's like, like yeah, what the fuck? Like good. why? I I don't know. That's like stupid to me that you can't do whatever you want in your own backyard. It is. Like, I mean, I understand, but like that's why I moved out to Riverside. It to begin with, you right? know, yeah. yeah, yeah. So, yeah, but the amount that's of, like the amount why of construction you, why that you would have, have that's why you would have land to be able to do what you want to do. Not yeah. it's not like I'm fucking growing a bunch of strawberries or farming out yeah. there, you yeah. know, or like have like land like slots for anything like that. Like I have animals, I guess. Can't say that, but a farm. Yeah, but that, I don't know. That's like what it's for, really. Yeah. Yeah, I know that is a stupid rule, but I feel like those people. And it's who, not like it's, it's not like it's a dirt bike track to no, where it's quiet. Yeah. Just play yeah. some music. The bike is literally there. silent. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, I don't know. What a uh, what? So if if Monster was to hit you up tomorrow and they were like, "Hey, we got you know forty grand, Dreamyard Five. What would you, what would you do?" What would you, you know, do you have, do you have some thoughts in your head about like what you so would add on? <laughs> <laughs> uh, I don't know. Just keep the money and put Dream Yard 3 out. Right. <laughs> five. 3.5. Three yeah. 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 Just make a collage of all the edits. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Right. <laughs> Remix. The best of. Um, is no, it, I, I mean, know. have I you, mean, have you put any thought to something like that? Or I mean, it's, like... there's, it's like asking me immediately after three came out, if there's yeah. a possibility of four, yeah. you know, time goes on. So where that's like, I get ideas and it's like, yeah, let's do it now or whatever, yeah. you know? Okay. So, I mean, I don't, I can't really say yes. Can't say no. I understand. I don't know. Men- a, mentally, a, men- mentally, you don't seem ready to film five. Yeah. Uh, yeah. As a fan <laughs> and a friend, I think it'd be cool on. to yeah. see you film a part where you get to go to other parks. Just so the stress of like five fucking video parts yeah. at one ramp can go away and you could just like, yeah. I feel like you going on a little, a couple missions and doing some trips you know like just going yeah. to seattle with me and you you handle those clips so fast it's like dude if you went on a few trips you you can make a street pat street pat or just everything whatever, i know whatever i know feeling, i like street you know? pat though street pat was fucking crazy yeah <laughs> straight out of x games to wall ride double whip and oh i had that out on my mind anyway at the time yeah, yeah so. didn't you try yeah you did the wall ride double whip at x games and too. got murdered oh you didn't you pull it did didn't you shit work. yourself <laughs> no <laughs> oh, <laughs> no because the war i went at x games had like a nasty little kink and one time he landed and just got oh, killed yeah, and then and then brutal. in seattle he was trying the war i too and i'm like this one's just as gnarly and he's yeah. taking slams but well i thought because it was a bank i was like yeah, I would have to thread the needle at the bottom. It's yeah. so skinny. That's you had scary to do, to do that there. When you do that wall ride, you're like, you're looking at that rail the yeah. entire time. And the wall, the yeah. one he did, he pedaled like, I was like, oh shit, he's going well, to I had, he had to air it to do a double whip. <laughs> Just dusted the dirt and the grime off his shoulder and went faster. <laughs> it was so cool. That's sick. Yeah. Um, that let's talk about Reed. What about him? Well, he was a baby in that, and now he's a full-blown savage, basically. Yeah, crazy. Time flies. He's six years old. Yeah, he's six now. So you had you had your first child at like twenty or something. How old are you? Twenty six. Yeah, twenty seven. Twenty seven. So like twenty, twenty one. Mm-hmm. So you you've been doing this for a while. Yeah, yeah. And now you got any tips for me? <laughs> you're you're a few years ahead. I don't know. Uh, <laughs> don't be so soft. <laughs> yeah, I mean, yeah. You, you, you're your the generation the, is okay, soft. Here, yeah. Here, here. <laughs> old man old man casey here (laughs) so this is this is a good aside because you had a video of uh you throwing reed in a pool and you got didn't people it went viral essentially got like a million views and you had people like calling you a bad parent and like threatening like child services you know you have to I don't remember, remember this. exactly. This is, this is, I remember when? this. So <laughs> you it's just you're throwing Reed and you're throwing him so high in the pool and it's like it's it's pretty fucking awesome. He's t- obviously 100% fine. But yeah. there's like the comments were just like insane. Yeah, I mean people are brutal with I mean you, you can see how the world is today. Everyone was telling you fucking pull your mask above your nose or yeah, whatever. Yeah. Everyone has something to fucking say, tell you what to do, but I don't know if I'm not if he's enjoying it. I'm not hurting him. I'll let him do what he wants to do. You know, just wear a helmet and go ahead. Yeah. Did 
Did you, was there actually, did, you never actually got like to reported? I don't even trouble. know what you're talking okay, about. Okay, fuck. Then never mind. You definitely didn't then. So, <laughs> but yeah, I'm, I'm, find I'm like, now yeah, I find it. And now I have I'm not really in, sure. Yeah. You know, it you, has like a fucking million views on You have had videos there. though where I remember we talked and you're like, oh, I, if anything, so I would annoying, think it would be like him falling. Him yeah. falling, not yeah. like me throwing. But you've him. never had anything, anything weird like that, like, like where, or do you just? <sighs> I mean, kind of like, like I said, people are like, you have all all types of people being like, saying I'm fucking him up and whatever, you yeah. know, based on letting him do what he wants. But it's like, like I said, if I put a helmet on him and I let him do it, and I feel if I fill him with confidence, like, yeah, you got it. Like, I think you can do it too, whatever yeah. kind of thing. Then it's like... Yeah, you don't push him to do something you don't think he can yeah, do. Yeah, like, yeah. I'm not like, oh, it's a bad idea, son. You know, wear your helmet. <laughs> I wouldn't do that if I were you. It's like, yeah, if you're going to wear your helmet, get on the fucking bike and send it. You got it. You got it. <laughs> <laughs> you got it? No, but that was... Yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, it yeah, was like... That was like, he that is. Was like I mean, nothing, it's not... Though. I'm yeah. not forcing him to do anything. I'm just... He wants to do it. Yeah, he wants to do it, and... I'm not pushing him either. I'm just using like, I'm encouraging him, you know, using his, he has the personality that want, he wants to keep pushing and doing more and more. So I'm, I'm just trying to use it to help build him, you know, in a, like a loving way. You just, yeah. I mean, not that tough, tough love is good, but at the same time, like look at like, I don't know, look at any like situation, like even fighters, whatever, like anything that they come from, like people that come from rough, backgrounds like i don't know what the saying is like it, there's like some saying like uh tough times create tough men tough men create easy times like and pretty much from there like you're going like the easy times like are produced like pussies pretty much you know mm -hmm. like you're like not yeah. gonna be tough because adversity you're so yeah yeah so it's i think that making them uh take care of things themselves not to think for themselves and handle situations by yourself that only make can make you stronger you know and it's not a bad thing no definitely not to make your kid independent as riding a bike or whatever it may be i mean i might be pushing it to the extreme a little bit but that's no, what he wants that's to do a, i think that's supposed to tell him hey you can't ride your motorcycle it goes 40 miles an hour that's too fast for a six-year-old yeah you know why is that too fast if i put a fucking helmet on you and you're geared up ready to go you're good dude Mm -hmm. fucking pin it yeah <laughs> <laughs> yeah and it's so good that he's six years old and he's taking all these slams he understands like how hard he yeah can like hit. you so were saying like, like you were saying with me i guess like i it's not an instinct but at the same time me falling is not it's not as scary for me to fall or i can react better than maybe someone else that doesn't fall you've all the actually time. done it you know like there's so many yeah. like 30 year old people let's say that just go to the bar on the weekend and work a desk job and they like act like they're made out of glass which they're not but since they, they never do anything, they're like, if they fall off the curb, yeah. they're, they're going to get yeah, hurt. Okay. <laughs> then like, look at like, that's a perfect example. Look at like, a uh, like a fighter, a professional fighter or something that's like, goes into like a bar, like, and the way they hold themselves with their confidence, it's like nothing. It's like they're relaxed because they're not in a state where they're always being threatened. Mm -hmm. You know, like someone's always trying to beat your ass. So now I'm like in a stage where, Hey, 99% of the fucking population, I know I can fuck up, <laughs> you know? So I'm like, you personally, like chill. no, not me personally, oh, but fighters, I'm just yeah. saying that's like the an mentality example of, of exactly. how I want to raise my kid to where Reed's he's like, Hey, I guess it's so like many... you're in gnarly situations all the time that your no normal life is just, mm -hmm. so when he gets to the real world, it's just going to be like, no, this isn't, no. This is, well, I've like, already been living the real world. There's yeah. a, there's a, fluffed up at all. There's a story. Uh, I was on a trip at, uh, in Boston, MIT, you know, the, you know, like the whatever MIT of fancy college, like produces geniuses all over the world. Okay. And, uh, and I think we we're one of those things kind of chasing each other down the sidewalk. And I think Brian Hunt or Tony Hamlin or something, uh, just clocked a kid on the sidewalk and he came around the block like five minutes later and he was so pissed at the time he's like look what you did and like it like you know and we realized the dude had never fallen before like it, he just never like this is yeah. it was, was like a moment in his life right then like it like that he fell over and yeah, scratched like, his elbow I think that's and it like, was like a, it was a, a sense, different scale of like oh is that important to you because like like it's not you yeah know? And i think like, in that sense like even for like say you and me even traveling or whatever you can't remember every experience like I mean, that Russia. was a perfect example. Yeah. Russia and like whatever you're saying about Reed, I yeah. was like, 
I don't know what the fuck you're talking about because there's so much shit that happens in our lives that it's not like that one moment was like, that's our life. Yeah. You know, it's like well, and so it's a, much stuff. It's also a like, progression. Don't it, even know. Just like what we were talking about before the podcast, sorry, it's a progression and it's part of your environment. And so the normalcy of like read scene, you go upside down and like take small falls and not complain and not be, n- not be worried about stuff that it, it just produces yeah, somebody that I, I is think, like, Hey, if you complain about this, like that's weird. Yeah. You it's know? mind over matter. Yeah. If you don't mind, it doesn't matter. There you go. You have a bunch of sayings. <laughs> it's really cool. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's so cool too that you built your your playground, your ramp in your backyard. So Reed's growing up, just like looking out the window. Now he's on the ramp with you. Like it's yeah. not like you're a dad, which most action sports dads they leave the house to go do their thing, and then they come home to their kids. Like Reed's seen most of your like. Well, besides no, and I guess as as being a parent shit. as well, I didn't want to be a dad like that. Like you're yeah. saying. Like even, you already have to even a so moto dad, for... even a moto dad being like, come on, go, go oh, faster. Yeah. You know, it's like, fuck, if I can't get in a race and win a race, I can't tell you that, like, why are you not winning? You know, no. cause anything, you, you, are, you, know? you are a moto dad now. I am. I am. But at the same time, it's like for, for him, that fucker, all he has to do is show up and ride the bike. I do everything else. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? Dude, yeah. I do fucking everything else. All he has to do is show up and ride the bike. <laughs> Are you and have a damn good attitude? You explain that to him though, like that. I mean, he knows. He knows. He, he knows. So, he's grateful. But it's as like, long as he's I, grateful. I for think that. after you pulled your banger uh, for Dreamyard Four, like I was leaving, and he had like done something to uh, your wife's parents' dog or something, something like that. Like I don't know what he. Did. I think he just like tossed the dog or something like that, and you put him up in his room, and I was leaving. And he was, he had something sharp and he was cutting through the screen on his window. And I was like looking at him I and I was, I didn't even know about that. I was, I was told me, <laughs> I didn't tell, I didn't tell ass. him. I was literally like, <laughs> I, I literally looked at him and I was like, dude, I don't think you should do that. And he like looked at me and he was just like, yeah, he's very like, and, I, and, and, and I was like, fix when you get home. and I was like, ah, do I tell Pat? And I'm like, no, he just oh, pulled, he pulled his banger. I'm not going to fucking be like, yo, your kid is yeah. fucking And shit. he'll blame it all on his sister. Everything. <laughs> Damn. So it was so him. funny, though. I was just looking at him. He was just up down. He was just looking at him. He was just like cutting it. Yeah, <laughs> he's like, very like, you can't like discipline Oh, you can't tell him much. nothing, I'm sure. Yeah, because yeah. he's like, what? And then just gets pissed off and then yeah. starts, I, mean, I don't know. Yeah, I feel, I that's feel like, like that's kids. That's like our, our biggest know? thing with him is his attitude. Yeah. Like, and he gets everything taken away because he has a bad attitude so yeah they should i mean honestly you should i mean that's yeah dude, right? I give you the get fucking world i give mode. you everything i f- i can like yeah. i'm literally giving him everything i fucking can and then if you're gonna treat me like shit sorry dude you don't get to do it yeah no that's fair enough that's totally fair that's life yeah that's life for sure um how's how's the daughter is the daughter all right tatum yeah, yeah. she's good she's she's, she's, she's very <laughs> happy actually she's always Wait. in a good mood how uh, is she like three or four four she'll four? be five soon yeah nice better behaved uh i mean (laughs) she like i don't know she's like a little party party animal kind of like she's just always happy and then just if he's like getting in trouble she's like hey reed you good and then just always like trying to fuck with him to cheer him up or something that's cool that's That's nice yeah she's like she's a good little sister um does she like doing any action sports or anything she's on the girly side very she's like likes makeup everything i'm like you're four years old but she does like i don't know she's very girly she dresses herself like a little stylist or something you know but i don't know it's weird just no different. i just, I, like, just I just had a, even... i just had a funny thought of how like she was like uh naked underneath the ramp at some point and it's probably in some of those clips you yeah, know I mean, like she's like always literally naked like, around yeah, the backyard yeah, but it's pretty fun like just like she'll it... also be in like five different pairs of clothes throughout the whole day yeah you know it's like God, well, it's just dude, like out, out of all the laundry we do, or my wife does, she does most of Tatum's clothes. That's amazing. Like, I just feel like you have such an interesting dynamic when you go to your house because, like, they, it was like they would wait until the exact moment where you're like, "All right, I'm gonna fucking do it," and then they'd be like, "Dad!" from like underneath the ramp I and know. like walking around, and it's like bl- you know, the ramp's huge, so you can't see a four year old on the other side yeah. of the spine and stuff and you're like she's just asking me the entire time yeah. like when I'm trying to send something like asking me questions as I'm in the air <laughs> like, trying to focus it's so <laughs> That's funny crazy the dynamic is so funny you know like I just I just stand there and just like kind of just smile because you can't you can't tell Tatum any if she won't listen to me whatsoever either so it's yeah. like 
It's just it's not like shut up, go away. Yeah. It's like, you're mean. <laughs> it's it's an amazing dynamic. Just to you, it's normal, and it's just yeah. Light, it's... But like to the outside world, even to me, it's like it's so amazing to see that like your family's all together. You're doing your job at the house, you know. Aside from when you leave the contest and trips and everything, but like it's so cool that you guys get to be yeah, together. I'm... And that fuck, it's like it's it's Very unreal. Blessed. Those kids are gonna say. grow up, and when they talk to other kids, be like, wow, like our life was different and really really amazing and special yeah i mean hopefully i mean all you can all you can do as a as a parent is try you know so raise them well like you're doing as good as you can sounds yeah, like trying should we should we talk about i want to talk about mongoose a little bit because that was you were on haro right and then you've been on mongoose for like four or five years so yep. what how did how did haro end and how did <laughs> <laughs> is that a bad one it's, <laughs> we have our theories. You're, make me, you're just making me look like a dick. Here. Why, why, why? I, don't, I don't know anything. I honestly don't know the answer to this. Because you shit yourself from falling so hard. Oh my god! You did you choke shit? Kyle Balduck out? Because he, you know, those are th- those are chill things. Did you those shit? Two things, and then did you shit on the TM? No. <laughs> No. Now what happened to Harrow? I, I honestly don't know that. I honestly don't. Know. Was a TM at the time? I did he, not he's shit the best. on him. I. Uh... Wash the shit off of him. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So what? Am I, now I'm more. Now I'm more interested. You could have just been like, "Oh yeah, Haro just like ended. I got uh, a deal yeah, with Mongoose." Haro you could have. Yeah. <laughs> now I'm more interested. What yeah. happened at Haro? I mean, the story's great. And it's just a theory on why Pat got kicked off right after that party. Yeah, but I don't know. <laughs> we, don't have to, we don't have to go there. I mean, it's, I don't really care to be honest, but. <laughs> I'm so, yeah, I, I don't know. Felt, I felt kind of bad. I know nothing I about bad. this. I always get in these fucking situations that I end up feeling bad after. That's because you because you, that you're a nice guy. Well, yeah. I'm just I'm. When you're you gonna... young and you're growing, you know, it's like you were young yeah. at the time. You still are just, young. Yeah. So. so it's like, dude, what the fuck? It don't matter. I don't know. Well, anyway, we all like had like a ride day at uh, my house. It was, it was like, like when Tyler and Mike first got on. So it was like okay. getting the team. It was like together. Tyler, Mike, Nyquist, you, me. I think that I think that's it. Thing, and McKay, and McKay, yeah. yeah, and then John, John Bulgens, yeah, and John was like, uh, not really the only one that wasn't like involved in anything. Like he was just like there, like, like bringing us snacks and whatever, just like at the house. And there was like a monster bar there. And then we had like a session, made a sick video. Uh, I don't know, I think Terrell filmed it. And then right after, John's like, "Yeah, bro, like he got a bottle of Jack, and he's like, yeah, let's take some shots, whatever." So we're all taking shots, and then, uh, like, we all get pretty fucking drunk <laughs> from these shots. Mm-hmm. I think everyone was like staying the night at your house too, and John was yeah. like, "Let's have a party." So we're like, "All right." Yeah. So it was like, "All right, cool." Yeah. And then Sanctioned. we all we all went yeah. in the garage and smoked some stuff that, uh, like, we all normally it's fine. Yeah. And John tried. It was like, "Oh yeah, let's fuck yeah." I used to smoke and like fucking rip the bong. And next, <laughs> next thing you know. Next thing you know, he's just like laying, laying in the grass, puking on himself. And I was like, we're all wasted. And I was just like, oh, John, dude, you're making a fucking mess. My dog's eating it and shit. Like the dog's like sitting there licking his puke up, <laughs> whatever. And I was like, oh, dude, better clean you up. Like got to hose the puke down. So oh, like, you hosed him down. So I started. With all his clothes on. <laughs> so he's sitting there like. I was like, how is it? Where is this guy? Yeah. So he's like <laughs> sitting there like in his puke. The dog's licking it up. And I'm just like hosing the puke down. And like I was just trying to get only the puke. And then obviously i'm drunk so it made yeah it is funny so like, it is funny yeah. and i just kept going and just like fully cleaned him up and then uh <laughs> and it was a nice summer yeah night, and then so it we, wasn't freezing yeah no, it you know, was fine it and like, then like i even like awake? we set him up he was gone that's the thing like everyone was having fun and then, yeah he was just a limp body garage. oh Literally. okay like, yeah, yeah, kinda, you know yeah, fucked yeah. His, it went from like you know spun him out the mixture he didn't know what was happening regardless yeah and so we put him like took his shirt off got him some dry clothes put him on the couch whatever yeah fucking burned his shirt because it was nasty and put then, a shirt in the fire. <laughs> it was, I mean, do you want a puke shirt? Yeah. Oh, yeah, <laughs> you yeah. know, like you puked all over. It's yeah. gonna, it's white. It's gonna be fucking orange or yeah, some shit. Yeah. You're done. Yeah. So. And Nike yeah. was a nice guy. Like put him to put him to bed in your no, garage and we, everything. Yeah, we I put think him everyone. To bed. It was did. fine. It was respectful. And then I, and then of course it was like the next day. He like woke up hung over as fuck. Like you guys all just fucking bailed. And it was like it's like Pat, could you drive me? It was like. 
of course I'll drive you, but fuck, sorry, dude. Like, <laughs> sorry for last night, I guess. <laughs> That's the thing. Yeah, John is about a nice last guy, night. and I don't yeah. think he was that mad. It's just, like I don't funny. Think it's just our funny it theory, just... and it was like a coincidence that, like, yeah. oh, it was a month later you got kicked no, off. No like, it was that night. Like, fuck. Yeah, yeah, yeah exactly. <laughs> it's, it's more of a joke than probably the real reasons or whatever. <laughs> I on it, I but 100% it was funny... did not know any of that. So it was like, I wasn't a lead-in. It was like a team thing, crazy party. Yeah. John gets wasted, pats off. It was like, oh, yeah. so fast. Like, oh, shit. Well, obviously, it all panned out. It was out. like, oh, who do we have to get rid of? Oh, who the fuck just hosed me? Yeah, down? right? You know? yeah. <laughs> we got to cut a little bit of budget. That, that pack guy wasn't very fun to hang out with that night. <laughs> Threw my shirt in the fire, and I woke up soaking wet. <laughs> well, Sorry, John. Uh, obviously, yeah, it all John, panned, John, it all panned out. For the better, in the end, anyways, right? Yeah. Like, like you've been on Mongoose. How yeah. long? How long were you out riding for a brand before you got on Mongoose? Between Haro, uh, and... just one year. Oh, yeah. Okay. So I was like one year without a sponsor, and then you got Mongoose. Cool. How'd that? How'd that come about? Was Kevin already on at that point? Yeah, or... Kevin got on, and then he was just kind of like, he was just like asking me kind of randomly, yeah. like, "Hey, would you? How would you feel about riding for him?" I was like, "Hell yeah!" Like riding on the same team as you. Yeah. Regardless, it'd be sick. And then. It kind of just all happened and then mongoose is so sick just being with them they're like anything you want really you know yeah yeah you guys have a cool team you've constantly been doing cool stuff since you've been on Seems yeah like it's a good program yeah the they're very the i think they're very involved like which is super cool like at least give back and like get kids into bmx really which is like the main thing that we all need yeah for I us. Mean, that's so, the future of it yeah. obviously so yeah, i always do. think yeah i always think because whenever we put like a you guys went on that uh, the North Carolina trip, and we posted it on our YouTube. And there's always like comments from like weird dudes that are like, "Oh, it's fucking a shit bike," you know, like yeah. a, like a mongoose brand bike. Like, is it whatever? It's a, it's like, yeah, it's a big box brand. Like they, yeah, they exactly. Make... And then if they like even uh, they had like this media thing, and they sent us like all this documentary, pretty much like on how like mongoose started and all this, and mm-hmm. pretty much started by this dad in a garage that was like making better products than whatever there was out there so yeah. it was like by the right not by the writers but like this dad making stuff better than anyone else was yeah that's like the only custom stuff out there really you know mm-hmm. so they were i mean they they still are but i'm just saying like all of our frames are like full custom you know yeah. so it's yeah and cool. you guys have the i think the, i think we talked about it with perrazzo was like his he's coming out with they are coming out with like an aftermarket frame and stuff like that but yeah. i just think that the mentality is like that but like even mongoose, like there's the cost like so it can get kids into bmx like, yeah that's, that's so the cool. whole thing is like it, they get an intro to bmx through a mongoose through a big boxing versus like a fucking um i'm trying to think of like a like one of the, yeah one of the, like a single top tube but you know like a yeah. weird a weird bike with like w- straight laced wheels and stuff like that and it's just like it's like no this is a bmx it is a bmx brand and it has you have a you have peraza or you have you or or nikita on the on on and the branding Wallace, and stuff Cam, like yeah. that yeah and it's like that's no mongoose is so really they get cool. to learn about you guys and they go all right my bike is related to this and then they get and then i know they, they in it's weird because like, like you think you're just like i thought i was just riding for a company and then they're telling me like they have like all these meetings with like even like all these people that like know all this stuff like about us and like it's yeah. meetings like about us yeah and it's like what like a, pre- <laughs> like a press type thing yeah, yeah. exactly yeah, yeah it's always it's always weird like because it because they don't have to do anything they could sell yeah. but they could sell the bike at walmart that's or wherever no and then not do anything it because yeah. it's a company that's wherever they're selling their bikes they sponsor legit riders and they throw legit contests yeah who gives a fuck? Yeah. And they're you know, giving like, back. Like, yeah. they're all they're doing is entirely. They're only helping make BMX better. You there's know, a, there's companies at Walmart that don't give shit to BMX and they exactly. sell bikes. That's, you know, that's, 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 that's kind of what I'm, get, that's what I'm getting at is that there's a, they don't have to, in order to make their money, they don't have to have a team. They don't have to do events. They don't have to do that. But it, it's yeah. part of the ecosystem. And it's like, BMX. that's the, it's great. They could, they play a role in the yeah. ecosystem of getting kids involved in BMX and giving them a good first experience. And it's with cool because, like, if you watch, like, I watch, like, that thing, the documentary, like, they go through, like, so many different generations mm-hmm. of, like, and they're still there. Yeah. You know? I think it's cool. Like, still it, just keep getting kids into BMX based on, like, even the next generation. It's like, yeah. I feel like that would be super hard to do as a company so i mean getting a kid on a bike these days is the most important thing for the longevity of bmx you know versus an xbox or playstation or fucking youtube or whatever else like that like getting a kid on a bike and getting them to have a good 
experience with that bike and get them to know about BMX and pro riders is like the most like important. Yeah. So I agree. But, um, Michael's on the team now. Right. So, uh, have you, have you gotten to, well, I guess he's been hurt. Fuck. Forgot. Yeah. Right. North Carolina though. Yeah. Oh yeah. North Carolina. So is there more stuff in the works or is it kind of like Uh, COVID? You know, I don't know. Yeah. Kind of not really sure. Whatever at the moment. Do you have anything else? Is there another, event or anything going uh, on i right think now? there's that like uh arlington monster triple oh, yeah. challenge thing but street pack yeah <laughs> are you gonna ride, are you gonna go <laughs> you got a flat rail i can borrow for a little bit <laughs> yeah yeah <laughs> are, they, are they doing another one of those events yeah you should go like yeah you should go street style thing yeah it's march uh 12th and 13th in texas i'll get you an invite right. yeah that's the only only thing i have right now yeah that's cool yeah I mean, it's is been it still nice. The same? Like, is it like still? Said, are they are they limited on invites still, or is it? I'm sure. Yeah, yeah just probably, based yeah. on because everyone wants everything. to go. You know, you got to get some sort of limitation. Yeah. yeah, and like they can't have too many people there for. Oh, yeah. Well, yeah, that's it's open. It's, it's usually their open invite, but with the with the one in Houston, it was 16. So I know there was. I think uh, there was some people that were angry they didn't get an invite, but I think it just went off <laughs> of like the numbers of last year. But there was only like there's only a couple of events or something like that. So yeah, but who knows even you know uh, yeah that's, i did have that on my list too is the uh the dreamline the, speaking of people not getting invited the dreamline fiasco after the bean thing but uh, what what do you mean the after? espn bean uh spotlight that they did mm-hmm. on you and then there bean. was a li- oh, yeah. yeah the uh caught a little bit of flack from the oh, organizers yeah. uh, organizers of dreamline yeah, me and you oh, did. you did? Yeah, you didn't know about that? No, of course. I had no idea. Yeah. Just because like the whole interview went along the topic of you went there and didn't get invited and then won, and we were just saying that that was fucking dope, you know? Like yeah, it was like nothing a, against the Dreamline was like the yeah. sickest event ever. It's you can't invite everybody. Who do you yeah. know who to invite? Yeah. But yeah, I mean, Fudger got some shit for it because so, I don't know. It sounded like we bashed Dreamline or something. <laughs> well, he was. Uh, yeah, I, didn't I, know I, that. I love Luke. I love Luke, so I'm sure he'll see this. But it it he was just. Well, taking, I mean, if anything, taking, it was me saying about the situation that it was so yeah. it's, it is they should have fucking invited me if they didn't want that then you know <laughs> <laughs> well i was say, i was saying the opposite is that is that in the in the sense that they were luke was seeing it as like that like hey they fucked up by not inviting you but i was seeing it as the idea of like like no i didn't get invited but I think I deserve to be there and I'm going to fucking kill it. And they and still prove let you ride. So it's yeah, great. you know, yeah. so like, like, it's like a, it's like a cool ass story that, that even if it, like it, there was no fault, like it, it's a cool ass story. Like it made yeah. the story better in the end that you weren't invited and then you made it, you know, like, yeah, like, it, like, too. so I, it just, it was like a rough one because I, I am friends with Luke and he was like pretty pissed at me, but I think he was also, I think you were drinking when you were pissed at me too. Shout out to Luke. So, Dreamlines were yeah. amazing and, Pat not getting invited has nothing to do with yeah. Bring contest. it back at that yeah. same at that <laughs> at that same event. I think I broke Luke's hotel door and then he stuffed peanut butter in my shoes, and it was the only pair of shoes I had. And then I left my debit. Yeah, so you could say whatever the fuck you debit want card about me getting not hotel, invited. Yeah, <laughs> and had to borrow money to buy shoes at Walmart. Those are in fun. New Mexico somewhere. In New Mexico, <laughs> 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 and then. And then he bought me a peanut butter of the month club subscription. So every month I got reminded of how much he fucked me over with the peanut butter in my <laughs> shoes. That's, that's the type of dude that Luke is. <laughs> oh my gosh. Fucking genius. <laughs> <laughs> random yes. i feel like dirt contests are like a great thing to be had right now during this covid where there's these rules and regulations because you can do them like so secretively like away from everything yeah for us right like people yeah. jumps I there's guess a, like yeah. backyard ramps trails like there's there's some shit to be done there's gonna mm-hmm. be a trail jam at the that spot on alpine in a month or so you should that's come cool out. nick long's yeah. super nick long's for doing that. That. getting bmx mountain What's bike that? everything the, together where's alpine uh it's east of here oh yeah it's like the riverside of san diego I think it's yeah. where uh, I, I, was, I thought it was Ramona, <laughs> like, like Axel's land is. Ramona. Yeah, it's what you, where you know where you know where Straight yeah. Straight so Acres there. is. Kyle Straight's house. Uh, uh, like no, it. no, okay, no. I I went there once. That's it's why I deep, know. but it's gonna be a trail jam. Shout out yeah. to Nick Long because he's yeah. been doing some cool shit lately. Yeah. yeah uh, sick. Is there anything else? What, what else we got? What are you doing? What are you doing what? today? It's raining. 
Yeah, I kind of regret not bringing oh. my bike because <laughs> I think it's raining again. If it makes you feel like when better. I came over, it was like starting to drizzle. Yeah, oh, okay. I, think I got here, really... it was like nice and sunny. I was yeah. like, oh sweet, I'll uh, bring my bike. How did you set yourself miles. on fire recently? <laughs> I was like, damn, you guys just keep throwing shit. Yeah, I, <laughs> how much dirt did you dig up? <laughs> uh, I like so we were just lighting a fire. It was like me, Jacob, and the kids, and like. I mean, I haven't done it in a minute, I guess, but I poured like, I had like a five gallon thing of gas I had to get rid of, but I wasn't getting rid of all five gallons, yeah. obviously. So I poured like about a gallon. Cause you wouldn't be on. here anymore at that point. Yeah, but I had poured like about a gallon on like yeah. way, way too much. But I was like, okay, whatever. I'll just like do a fucking a line real quick or light something and throw it in. And usually I would always light something and then throw it in. So I'm not ever in contact with it. Yeah. And so I did like, poured all this gas and i did like a line of gas probably like 10 feet and i was like okay i did it fast like and then just did this line and then put the gas can down made sure the kids are back real quick jacob was like making sure everyone's back and i just got down and lit it and as soon as i lit everything just went On like you? the whole fucking every the like, 10 foot like the whole 10 like 10 feet a huge basically. entire ball of fire <laughs> <laughs> like as soon as I lit, like the movies, like I was just like saw fire. Like the like you should have been walking away from it. Like like I was burning in hell. <laughs> why that happen? Huh? You know, just the fumes. Why that yeah, just fumes. Just fumes. Too much. There was gas, not any yeah. wind. Like usually yeah. there's a bunch of wind blowing through. Yeah. There's no wind, so like I was expecting to light this the gas and then it to like catch and travel along and yeah. then you know. Yeah. But just the fumes were like so dense and concentrated. I just like bent down to light it and next thing you know my were whole you face house? is burning off <laughs> huh? were you at your house Did yeah you jump in the pool or something i jumped in the pool as fast yeah. as I could. you're that on fire like, dude dude you no didn't see eyelashes. his you didn't see his hand i don't think so oh i did see that <laughs> yeah that's a, dude actually really bad yeah but, but it was i mean to go just but in the pool you could panic completely like, fine though yeah yeah the like you could tell human body difference. yeah how uh this one did it just natural instinct go to the pool I feel like you could have freaked out. And it just, was like, like took off running in a different direction. <laughs> yeah, right. I was like scared. Like it hit me, and it was like so fast. Like I wasn't like on fire for yeah. a long time. It was like boom, like an explosion. You know? Yeah. Like boom, and then it was like boom, hit me back, and then I was just like oh, and then like I saw my arm hairs and everything on fire, and I was just like hitting it all out as fast as I could. But it was literally the, like the fast, which is what singed yeah. everything. Yeah. Like I was like as fast as I could, got out of the way, but. It was like my whole nose, like my lips right here, my whole nose, like the whole bottom of my nose. Damn. And then like no eyelashes. <laughs> I didn't know that. I don't even think Yeah. No eyelashes. Like, and then like I just, I shaved my head before and like it was just coming back. Like my hair was fine. And then I did this and then it was like a whole burnt patch right here. Damn. So it's like, I have to shave it again. Fuck, and then, yeah. But On like a- my whole hand, like it was like. The whole thing, like, did like was skin falling off or was yeah? It like... So I jumped in the pool, yeah, and I was like in the pool for like fifteen minutes, like fuck, what do I do? Like the the pool's freezing, yeah, it's so fucking cold, and I'm just like it's still burning like my face, like I'm just sitting there like this, and then I get out, I was like I have to go to the hospital, and like my wife's like I can't go with you, COVID, whatever. I'm like you fucker, you know. But okay, oh, that was yeah, almost understand. another topic too, yeah. Like yeah, how like, sa- how how Chase is the actual most savage person oh, in the it's household. Like, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, exactly. And <laughs> And pretty much like I'm so lucky I didn't Pat's, catch my Pat's kids third. On fire. It's Chase, Reed, Pat, and then Tatum. And then I'm the guy. So and then lucky the pigs. I didn't catch my kids on fire because they were like yeah. there. You know? Another good learning lesson. Yeah. No real life learning lesson. Yeah, like, fuck, really. Be careful with fire. But I get out of the pool and like I grab a towel and like I go like this. And wipe the like skin right off. here. The skin just fucking Ugh. like peeling, just like falling off. And I was like, oh shit. Pull, like, him, pull the I, microphone a little bit closer to you. I was like, oh, damn. Like, what do I do, you know? And I was like, I need to go to the hospital, get some ointment or something. <laughs> <laughs> no, like, my skin's falling I off. <laughs> I just love that. Uh, go get some ointment. <laughs> like, well, what, like, what was your level of pain? Like, are you like, is this dude, like this shit hurt a lot? Or is it like... I mean, it was painful, but I was like so full of adrenaline. Like, yeah. yeah. I wasn't in pain. It was just like, fuck. I was more worried about what I, was happening. Yeah. Really, it was like scared about what was happening. And then, like, I went to the hospital and they, like, it all happens like super quick. Like, if it's 
a burn or anything yeah. they take it like super Very serious. serious like internal bleeding burn anything it's like really serious and so i get there and then they like take me back and they start doing all these scans real quick just to make sure i didn't breathe in the fire yeah because if you breathe it in yeah it could like singe your lungs and then or your airways and then afterwards like the inflammation like they have to watch you for about an hour at least because the inflammation could just like start going and then your throat could close up or something you know because yeah. like you could just travel so what they do with all the shit that was your skin melting so they, they gave me some morphine and like just hooked me up to some morphine because they're like hey uh how much pain are you in i was like one i was like for a normal person it'd probably be in a 10 yeah you know? guarantee <laughs> like someone would be like freaking the fuck out yeah. based on this i'm more worried about like just what's gonna happen kind of uh-huh. but so they hooked you up to a drip morphine yeah drip? and it was like that's nice I mean, it was nice because, like, I was, like, in a burning pain for, like, my hand and, like, my face for probably the burn. Like, after you get burned, probably lasts, like, two hours. Mm -hmm. So, like, it was, like, that whole, like, I had the adrenaline. And then right as the adrenaline was going down, I was, like, fuck, like, this hurts. It burns, you know, and just, like, dealing with it. So, it was, like, nice to have that just knocked off the edge gone. That's sick. Yeah. So, and then it was just, like, it was fine after that. And I just, like... I was like, oh, it's going to be like this. And then all of a sudden, things Shield started right bubbling. Oh, like no. Crazy, he, like, it looked insane. It yeah. Looked like, like, he looked like a zombie. Yeah, it looked like zombie thing. pet. That's crazy. Is that in the middle of filming Dream Yard 2? Uh, Dream Yard 4. But yeah. Dream yeah. Yard 2. It was yeah. right before I left to North Carolina. Yeah. So wow. that's what, I, that's what that was my next question is, so you did that. And then what? how many days later did you go on the trip? Two days later. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> how many? Yeah, so so, you, had, so like, you, had a ma- you had a mask on your face going to north carolina and you're Gloves, covered dude. with burns it made me wear the mask above the nose because my whole bottom of my nose was burnt off so yeah. i had to wear it like here yeah otherwise if i wore it here I'd just like peel it you yeah know? so okay, it i could like, just imagine like what nothing pe- now yeah like yeah it's fine this is like the first day this is in the hospital it looks like not that bad yeah, it looks like you after like a contest or something. Yeah, like it just like your face a yeah. little bit. Like normal road rash or pat. This is, like, this is like the day after. Damn. And started like bubbling a little bit. Mm hmm. May have to get these photos. Later in the day. <laughs> looks disgusting. Then, <laughs> was this when like you. The next day. So my veins are all black. Yeah. That's crazy. Did they give you like ointment or anything? That's disgusting. <laughs> it just Man, gets that worse sucks. and worse. Like some real... yeah, it it looks it looks like a zombie, like like a it's like a some sort of makeup, you know. Yeah, and it's crazy. You're fine too, because imagine like the burn victims who really have gnarly <laughs> shit. Like, what did they look like? That is so I gnarly. No yeah. Okay, so wow. you see how big it's like puffed up there. Ooh. Yeah. And then I was riding on the mongoose strip with it looking like, like that. And then he ate there. shit. And I tried like a tire slide thing mm-hmm. and just slid out and ate shit and fucking popped it all <laughs> that had to hurt so it did the popping it didn't hurt. It was just like the burning after it was yeah like it burned just it looks again. like a gnarly burn yeah you're a beast man to look like that and go on a trip some people don't can go you on trips can you for, airdrop, like, airdrop for, me those just so i can splice them in <laughs> you're like yeah, i'll go i'm good yeah third degree burns or whatever. did they, were they like were they <laughs> <laughs> that's you on the trip yeah were they you're in, i know i they definitely wow. didn't uh they were pat you're crazy you're the, the, you're the interview the, stuff the BMX for I that's what i was saying I, i've BMX i've actually said it i was like him and morgan Please. him and morgan, morgan. Are, pre- are pretty much like top two i can't yeah. i can't i mean like Why? i mean yeah, of, of abuse of, that we put ourselves through? yeah and and, and, and you're always okay and like the abuse that you put yourself wood, through and then good. and then don't talk about it you know like like the idea of of like that's what toughness is really yeah. is is it's not that bad for him. yeah and you're like oh yeah what's your pain i literally i yeah morgan is like yeah. he, he went he busted his teeth out and we went to the hospital and it's like you know fucking bleeding everywhere and like oh what's your you know on scale from one to ten you know what's your scale he's like zero like you know i don't know being a hard ass or what but he's like he's know, like oh like, it doesn't hurt like, like a little whatever. kid it's like yeah. as much as you work it up and like you think oh it's so bad or i yeah. don't know no, I mean, it's like but, it's in your head, kind of pain. Yeah, it's physical, it is, but it's yeah. also like in your head a little bit. I but it's know. like the it's like the normalcy of it too. You know, yeah, like, yeah you're, you're just like, kind of like, dealing oh, with it yeah. all the time. Like even like if you fall as a little kid and like scrape your knee, 
Like that, it hurts really bad, but you don't do that all the time. So if we're doing it all the time, it's like, oh, whatever, just hit your knee again. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You know, it's yeah, not like, ah, oh, you lay in there crying about it. Um, oh. Sorry. Sorry. I mean, make fireball, you know, the shitting, <laughs> everything. I'm sorry. Yeah, hopefully Haro. it's hopefully it's a little bit interesting. I felt like no, it was going to be it interesting is. to listen to. So it is. <laughs> You're an interesting guy. <laughs> you are an interesting <laughs> Well, guy. I'm just I saying like... I didn't really think it would be that interesting to listen to in general. I was like, <laughs> you're I, have, you're I have nothing guy. really to say. <laughs> yeah, you do. <laughs> I mean, I don't have anything to say. You guys are asking me. Well, that's, that's the thing. I, I feel something. like you're a pretty quiet, super chill dude, like in a social setting. But like, I've known you forever and I'm like had so much more than like these people know just because you you have a cool life you're just always on the road and always getting into shit and you're tough as nails fucking (laughs) cool dude (laughs) you got stories i'm blanking on shit to ask you know but anything like going on in your life right now we're just you're just gonna ride and family time and just yeah just chilling right now hopefully start moving forward doing like some ramp shit and Maybe playing events, whatever, but mm-hmm. trails are running again. No, no. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I guess I saw you, that's, I saw that's you working my... on. I saw you working on them. So I thought, yeah, and then yeah. it rained again. Oh yeah, fuck. Oh. Yeah, it's probably amazing right now though to have some time with the family, like full on, without like being home for an injury or something like that. Like you're yeah, home, no, feeling I've... good. You get to work out now. Like it might be like a blossoming a pat and come out of this shit part two part, yeah, <laughs> <that> part two <laughs> getting strong getting home time it's good no i've appreciated it a lot like it's it's been super good because i've wanted a break but not i didn't want to stop it's hard to say no when you get invited to france yeah. and then here and then there yeah, and just exactly. like all these cool so, places over especially and over that's just an opportunity in a sense you know like, yeah and you know one like day it's not just me i have to support as well it's the whole family so yeah how does that weigh on you is like when you get invited on a trip it's like you're not really thinking like do i feel oh, good man, enough to go fucking on this sucks no, <laughs> no, but, but like for real like if you get invited on this trip and you're like i don't really want to go on that but you're like fuck that is some money for the family yeah like, is that no that's like of course it's part of it in a sense like i mean if i don't know i would think i would be going anyway you know yeah kind of probably hard for you to tell time. at this point because it's been your life for so long yeah but like what's exactly. the, what's the, like the last event where you're like i it, really don't want to go like it, has there been one like a feast or something maybe yeah yeah yeah, could, yeah there's imagine. been like fees feast events like especially when they're doing like the whole like fucking drug tests all that stuff it's yeah. just like geez like it just makes it like a stressful thing kind of that it made me not want to i mean it's cool to travel and get to go experience a new place but it was like okay like leave the family to go do this like it made it more of like such a job yeah feel you know not a job but made it feel like one more so a task any, yeah any like other... a, like an inconvenience or something yeah, i mean any, like, anything yeah yeah exactly a task but it's like you're going to get money for the family so that is like a yeah but i mean that's why it would weigh heavier and give you more mm-hmm. like pressure i yeah. guess because it's like okay now fun. yeah it's not like okay I mean, it was more so like, okay, let's just go party, have a good time, whatever, and then ride a contest, and it's just the lifestyle it is. Mm-hmm. But now it was like, okay, it's getting more serious, you know. Yeah. But Olympic stuff. What yeah. uh, what's your opinion on on kind of the judging on uh, of of things in general? I feel like sometimes I feel like sometimes you don't necessarily get the credit you deserve in the sense of like yeah you don't want to hear my opinion on that that's actually that's why we <laughs> invited you is to get your opinion <laughs> oh that's the reason why <laughs> no well opinion on everything uh i mean is that you know I, i'm no i think uh i don't know i don't i don't think it's bad but i think that it's like kind of de- depending on what we're talking about like specifically you know, well, I mean, I think the, I, I think the uh, I've, I've said I think I this is sounding like a Peraza's podcast again, but like the hom- homogenization of BMX, like in the sense that, hey, this trick is really hard. So I'm going to learn how to do this trick. And then this trick gets scored really high. And that's the that's the winner because he did. Yeah, I think trick. I've, the, I've been did battling the three, with that. the three hardest tricks that there are. So he's the winner. Yeah, I think I've been battling with that in general with BMX for a long time, just like based on trying to do my own thing and then people just fucking copying it and then getting credit for it in Mm -hmm. a sense, you know, but and especially in contest things like I try to like learn some shit that's different or whatever. And then you show up to a contest and five other dudes do it. And it's like, cool. Why not? Not why, but yeah. 
I don't know. It's just, I know it's not the same, but like you get judged almost exactly the same and same points and all that stuff. But you're, I don't know. It's just, it's kind of, it's a weird, weird subject because I think that BMX is very, uh, opinion orientated anyway. So like even for someone to be judging you, like you yeah. could be saying that, that, that judge likes more tricks or this one likes more style. Like for instance, you go to the Vans contest. If you do a tail up there, you probably get last place. Yeah. You know? So it's like, I mean, unless you're Dennis, but, <laughs> <laughs> but you know what I'm saying? Like, it's like, no, I, I know what you fine, mean. Yeah. If you do, if you, if you, obviously if, you the sque- if you squeeze in a tail whip, on yeah. And I think then that it's not, it's not, it's, based it's on, worth based it to on not the contest the that it is that like, so depending on the contest that it is fees, which should be yeah judged more based on tricks, but BMX is like it's freestyle BMX that style and other things come into play high every, all the other things. So I think that's like hard to compare I guess all in the same area, Mm -hmm. especially when if like, I don't know, like I guess me and Kevin are a good example of like different riding than, uh, like straight trick things because yeah, yeah, we'll land backwards or do a style trick or whatever, instead of just trying to rack up points with bar spins and tail ups, you know? So I think, I don't know. It's, it's weird. And I think that there needs, there should be like a little more, uh, interpretation for like, riders like me and dennis and whatever and dennis and kevin and riders that ride everything but that being said it's like we're i'm choosing to go to olympic contests where that's not yeah that, I mean, uh, they're looking for the most tail whips yeah. or a vans contest where they're looking for the highest table gap yeah i don't that, know that's kind of the thing with like contest series you know that like even when do tour is there and x games it's like you, you just get really lucky with your style of riding if you get into it and say, like, all right, the Vans Pro Cup starting, and Larry had no clue he was going to all of a sudden be, like, a, w- a world champion. Either. Yeah. Jason Watts, it's like you get really lucky with that, and then th- there's fees, and then there's, like, for Brandon Lupo. Yeah, so like, Martin, for these other perfect guys. example for me, like, I was lucky when for Dutour, you exactly. know? like yeah. Me too. That fit me really well. That fit my riding style. It didn't fit a style. lot like Mark Webb or someone who was amazing, but he couldn't get in there because his riding wasn't, you know, yeah. Dutour ramp style at the time. Yeah, like for me, like the first Dutour I went into, like I got like top 10 and it was like, whoa, you know, it's different. But like I go to a Vans contest, go as hard as I can. I get last place, not last place, but it's like. You, it doesn't matter what doesn't you do. It seems fucking like, matter. like yeah. the more shit you do and just better and better you run. It's like, well, you're not what they're looking for. Yeah. You know, that's what it feels yeah. like for yeah. me and you or for me watching you. I'm like, fuck, Pat, just for you, not run me again. is he's what he's saying. In, yeah. When, yeah. They hooked yeah. me up. I love, you know, like, <laughs> but I watch other people and I'm just like, what? That's crazy. But it's just yeah. judge contest. And that's, yeah, it's, it's opinions. Opinion. It's just it oh, is what yeah. it is. You know, it's like, that's every contest series should have different judges and be completely different. And the more series and the more contests, the more everyone has a chance to pick their own thing, you know? Like, yeah, like there's street riders who don't even, you know, they might want to compete, but they don't even have anything. So it is, yeah. it is lucky to even have stuff, you know. Yeah. But the more, the better. People should just be yeah. taking it in their own hands and making their own contest series if they can. Yeah, but it's really hard just to do that. I know. It, but, I, I just, but I think also like what we were saying, the judging is also it's weird because it influences. Like that being that being said, like trick judging or whatever influences like a whole other generation of riders that's like oh this is how we ride that's kind of what i'm getting at yeah you know so i think it's like that's kind of dumb because not dumb but you almost you're taking away from uh you're not giving credit to like how gnarly another rider is based on being a rider you know like in a gap or speed or anything like that that's like actually something that's like like you could be uh, like even Corey Walsh is a great example. Like he's not doing big tail whips or anything, but the shit he's jumping is like, how Crazy. is that even possible? Yeah. You know? So, and who knows how that would do at like a fees. Yeah. I, I guess I just, I struggle with it because it starts, they all start to look the same because it's because they see somebody else's success doing something. And then, so they're like, all right, well I need to emulate that style to, to get successful in that thing. And, and that then all turns of a sudden, me off to that so much. Yeah. And then the final, and also... then the finals are all, variations of like all right you do the three triple whip and i'll do the triple whip on the quarter and i'll do the three you know that like, also relates like to bowl contest all... so because a fees rider could look in that and be like what the fuck this is like a bunch <clears> of dudes <throat> doing like going fast and hitting these lines that all look the same you yeah know? i mean i guess it depends on the contest you enter yeah. and what they're looking yeah. for Metro but at the James same time it's James like we're back. riding freestyle bmx <laughs> why can't man. you just judge it based on 
a whole, you know? Yeah. That's why it's, and it's, it's good like to talk I, freestyle because it's, it's more of an interpretation than... Yeah, I, I don't have an answer. I just, I'm just complaining, I but guess, that, in the, yeah, in, in but the like, end. But someone that doesn't understand my writing, I guess, me landing fakie or whatever, I'm not going to understand how hard that is to yeah. do inside a run that you have to continue. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You know, so it's how like, many, oh, how many, he lost speed here. How yeah, many, I feel like he shouldn't have done a fakie thing in the middle of his run when you're like, dude, that's so fucking hard to 180 double whip in the middle of my run. What was it? Okay. Wasn't there a thing at X Games where you, you did something for best trick and it was fucked and it didn't get, didn't, you're gonna have to elaborate more than that. Uh, it was, Every it was, it was, it was, it was, it was Minneapolis. I think you did like 180 double whip over the thing to, to front flip, maybe front flip fakie or something in best trick or, or something like that. It was five whip in the box backwards on one of them. Maybe that, maybe it was five whip to front oh, flip. Oh, that's what it was. The five, five whip over the box backwards and they didn't count it because it was w- like two I things. got three tries oh, yeah. and like I fell and I got up and just did it. Hmm. Because, okay. like, I fucking hate sitting there and being like, all right, when's your turn? I mean, yeah, you know, that whole like, thing. I mean, it's a TV, the best trick TV thing, yeah. yeah. But, so, all right, what, so it maybe was it was your very last try and you just got up and did it right after? No, I did. I tried my last try. I fell and I just got up and just tried it again and landed it. Mm, that uh, sucks. Yeah. But they didn't weren't recording or something. Yeah. I, yeah, I, like thought, there was a, a, I thought there was another one where it was like, eh, like story hey, of my life could always be worse. How many events have you lost because you tried to go backwards and you shouldn't have? I don't know. You could probably answer that better than me. I don't really look at look at things that way. But I'm just joking. I just feel, I just feel like there's always been uh, like, there's been. When a have few I good... started going backwards? <laughs> <laughs> and how many events have there been? <laughs> I just always feel like there's been there's been something where like fuck. Yeah, God, I think this like, last God dirt contest, like, you were like, yeah, just uh, whatever you're playing for the best trick, just land it. Don't go damn, don't land backwards. <laughs> that one, that was a joke. Two, <laughs> it was more for your butt. Then yeah <laughs> no i think what the one before i hurt my ribs that was why yeah oh yeah because it was just like it was like a massive like third jump yeah. yeah so because you are prone to uh go backwards on, on yeah. jumps, that's his so. shit you know, that so fucking land the landing in houston was like Dude, those are was monsters. like 20 feet long yeah. so the fakey on that would have been yeah i know yeah not yeah, that's it. the thing. There's a contest. They're always gonna have their little flaws, but it's cool to even yeah. have them. Just keep make, keep talking about them and making them better. Hopefully, yeah. I mean, you know, yeah, I, that's what I mean. Like, I could like obviously sit here and be like, oh, it fucking sucks. Like they said this, that, yeah. but it's like no. At the same time, like I am kind of choosing to go ride a Vans Bull contest or a Fees Trick contest. That's you, like, yeah, you know what they're looking for. I know what they're yeah. looking for, yeah. but yeah, I mean, hopefully they appreciate what I do as well. Which is cool for you but just to keep doing your thing, whatever, and to loop back towards like how you've you've invented tricks and then a couple years later that's like the trick people are trying to do you know that sucks for you but that's literally progressing the sport so it's pretty amazing when you like look at it as an outsider it's like that sucks for you but you doing these tricks that are getting scored so high and other people have to learn them that's like that's but what they're scored is. high after okay. i do it and then someone else does it now you know no. like so yeah yeah it sucks what the fuck no. It sucks for that money at the contest. Do you think? But I like, mean, whatever. Like I, I honestly sport, don't give a shit. Like, I'd rather have longevity on the sport than yeah, yeah anything, which you definitely you know? have so more like, so, more so than a lot of those other dudes that I'm sure have have yoinked those tricks. So it's, yeah. uh, I mean, it's like one of those things. I just don't think there's. a But gr- that's like why. A, that's why it would be more like annoying, I guess, because like that's my brain thinking about this thing that in my head it's obviously impossible until I do it. But now that you see it's possible, now it's monkey see, monkey do. Yeah, yeah. Which is every single trick, though. Yeah, of course. I can't. Like when Durr Obviously. stole Dennis's trick. My trick? Or did it? What? Dan I don't know. Is that a thing? No. Is that no foot, the no foot can whip or something no, like that? No, he did that first. Uh, no, exactly. Fuck. It's, it's fucking, <laughs> their body moves. He's trying to bring up no, shit. No. There was something. I, I know there was. You I know what it is. Him. Yeah, that's and what it is. never really mastered it, yeah. so I stopped doing it. <laughs> um, fuck, where was I going? Uh, oh, I, I was just going to sp- uh, praise you, in a sense, because I do think that a lot of the times at least when i'm covering an event there are the the style riders where it's like they have their run and they're only doing the tricks that they're gonna do in their run and then you and and also with kevin is you guys have all this variety so when i'm making a video or we have photos or anything like that you guys have all this different shit and it's like you're just doing it for yourself you know like you're like oh i want to do this not like i'm I'm doing this because i want to like I'm going to do this in my fucking run. Mm-hmm. You know, like yeah. you have I mean, all that, these variations. That's why I ride a bike is because it makes me feel good. You yeah. know, so that's why I want, like you do those tricks to make you feel good, kind of. Yeah. And it's not, I don't know. It is more than just winning, 
you know you just you ride a bike to ride a things, bike things things losers so. say <laughs> yeah i guess yeah. i've never been in a fucking <laughs> contest in my life <laughs> I guess you could say that. <laughs> uh, I'm just playing. I'm just playing. <laughs> You've um, been pro for a long time, too, you know, for a young age. So it's pretty cool to be, like, 26 and have, like, so much wisdom of understanding all hey, this you're stuff. You're not you pro know, for 10 years at this point, right? Yeah, 16, 27. 11 weird. years. 11 years. Were you, like, 15, 16 at those first two tours? Yeah, I was 16. And when you started blowing up. Yeah. yeah, crazy. Yeah, that's when I, like, I've been on Monster since I was 16 hell yeah that's nuts yeah that is crazy doing good and and, and, Fo- and fox has been hooking you up who else has been hooking you up let's do the let's do the praise fox is still doing vans, it vans ethica has been hooking me up since the beginning nice uh bell bell damn that's sick nice i mean mongoose obviously now yeah now yeah it. Just a, you know, just rounding it out so you can yeah, yeah good you know. for you <laughs> on this long on top of the game and now you're starting to work out pat two's coming you oh, know, shit. like that's gonna that's gonna make pat, you, pat like, point abs. Just <laughs> <laughs> just being home and just having this reset, I think, is so good for you. You know, there's only so long yeah, you can I mean, just keep hopefully. going contest, 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 contest until you're gonna be like, fuck, like you need a break, and you got this break yeah. without having to hit that injury or that burnout stage. Yeah, Stoked yeah, exactly. That's been nice. Yeah, hell yeah. Cool. I'm out of questions. Oh, Pat, thanks for coming down. You got anything yeah. else you want to add to this? Like shitting stories or lighting yourself on fire beating Ooh. other people up you want to beat up dennis <laughs> you want to choke out dennis yeah that's what i've been getting ready for you know? <laughs> After this, we're gonna fight <laughs> <laughs> thank you pat no pat yeah, you're the thanks man for me. good job on everything you got an awesome thing going keep doing it i know you will thank you hell yeah, hell yeah. pat pat thanks casey unclick podcast rbmx See you guys click like my turn downs. <laughs> oh, what's up? You don't do I'm, put, I'm gonna now. change the logo. <laughs> I'm gonna put the chan- in the logo and change it to you. You could learn no, turn down I, so I fast. I can do a turn down, but I don't think I do them anymore because, like, when I had breaks, I would always catch the brake lever in it and get like oh shit oh. stuck. But it kind of dude, I don't some fake. Like, you could do some fake e turn down shit. That would be fucking sick. Turn downs are weird because you just oh <laughs> turn downs feel like shit in the beginning. I I had the long. It took me so long. Yeah, to I, I think that's why somewhat do a turn down. I can't like. I feel like I'm like tweaking my ribs every time, you know, it's like, uh, instead of like being like getting the right spot to just goes, oh, you're so good. You just need to do it for like a week. Oh, yeah. and you're like, what? 